Alrighty. What okay, happened? hang on. I, I, I started my stream. Although I wanted oh. to send you the thing that I'm talking about. Yeah, so if you go into content, there's um, video visibility, restrictions, date, view, comments, likes, dislikes. Under restrictions, it should just say copyright. Uh, and those are, those are the videos that are claimed. Oh. Interesting. Mm hmm And um, because of the restrictions that are caused by the copyright claims, uh, they can make your video visible or not. And that's why some of those videos, you can see them. Ah. Yeah, David's here. There's another David? No, I'm talking to chat. Chat's like, oh, D DVSD is here. Oh, that's uh, Flojen. He's one of my older commissioners. No, no, no someone in my chat, uh, it's me, Mars, said that. Oh, oh, I'm talking about my chat on my YouTube. <laughs> David's also streaming. Hang on, let me put uh, his uh, chat here. I hope I'm not going to ruin your stream, uh, Pinky. You're probably fine. I don't, you don't mind me calling you Pinky, right? Or do you prefer Pink or just Paletta or just Whatever. your name? I, I can so call we'll... you Pinky, right? Yes. I'll do my absolute best to not call you by your name. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's, al it's already, it's it's already fine too late if for it... me. Yeah, it's fine if it slips out. I mean, do you not like being called David? You, David is literally in your username. Yeah. So it's already too late for me. Pinkie Pie. I always want to rename my YouTube channel and call it Devious David again it... for old time's sake. Why don't you? Funny fact. Um, maybe I shouldn't tell you. It's kind of inappropriate. Never mind. Yeah, maybe don't. Hey, uh, something I'm noticing, like, now that I have your stream open, uh, What's up? my character needs to be green screened. Green screened, eh? How yeah, you happen? need to go into OBS, click on uh -huh. my character, and then go to filters, uh -huh. and there should be, yeah. like, a chroma filter. Oh, I see it. Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, key, key out all my green. All your green? Yeah. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out how to do that. Um, key color type, right? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? So you go to uh. I'm on custom... filters. Color key, key color type, and then you just mess with the settings until it looks right. Oh, okay. Whoops, I think I messed up. Oh, you definitely messed up. I'm gone. What have you done to me? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go get back to what I'm doing. I'm so messing up right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think I made it worse. You could just delete it and just leave me with the, the green screen. <laughs> Just, if you just remove the filter, I'm fine. And I drink a glass of uh, milk today. Luckily, I drank it with my food and not by itself. <laughs> I mean, I won't judge you for that. Sophie will, though. Do you like milk, David? Do you ever just drink milk on your on its own with nothing? No, I do not <laughs> like drinking milk. <laughs> like... I understand if it's like with cereal, like what you guys were talking about the other day. 
but I do not like milk. Mmm. Is chocolate milk okay? I like chocolate milk, yeah. Some types I of milk are, are are gross though, like like uh like whole milk. I think whole milk is gross. Yeah, I think I did it. Sweet Look tea. at your avatar. Oh, did you fix it? Yeah, I think I fixed it. Look, see? Oh, look I at- there I am! I look great! Thank you! Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the commission. You like sweet tea? I love tea. I would like- I wish I liked tea more. I kind of don't like tea, but I'm trying to like it. I'm trying to change my opinion. Let's do, what's your favorite kind of tea? My favorite kind of tea? Yeah. Uh, the famous green tea. The <laughs> green tea. I bought some green tea uh, leaves from my mom the other day when I was uh, spending the night over there. Uh-huh. And uh, I also bought some peppermint. Uh, one of my dear friends uh, gave me a tea maker for uh, my birthday last November. Oh. And I've been using it ever since, and I love it. The character I'm drawing is... Uh... One of I have I have five more requests that I I was doing for a uh, a like a, a follower milestone celebration on another account on another account. So I let people just like submit their characters and stuff. And so I have I have five more requests to do, and then I'm done forever finally. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty cool. So this is, this is just someone like random person who who follows me on Tumblr's character. Oh, interesting. Also, like the milk. No, no, Mars. No milk. Milk. No. Haha, <laughs> yes. It's not allowed. Milk. No. <laughs> milk. It's, 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 a, it's a devil's drink. Well, I'm going to look at your stream, too. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow. <laughs> Even on MS Paint, your line works amazing. <laughs> Th thank you. <laughs> The sketchy look uh, adds character, and I like it. I, I want to do stuff like that someday in the future. Mm -hmm. you, but I just you... can't get that sketchy feel down. Well, because don't you go directly to, like, line art? Like, don't you just draw your line art? You don't sketch? Uh, on certain occasions, I do do sketches. But this commissioner uh, wants me to do uh, line work. Like, you know, straight to the line work. It, guys, this psychopath doesn't sketch. He just draws line art. He's insane. I uh, let me show you what I've done without sketching. Let me see no, I'm saying like it. that's that's cool, but also it's like masochistic and crazy, and I can't imagine being you. I will not lie, Pinky. I've been I've been jumping to line work ever since I was a baby. That's crazy. Can't imagine. I, Couldn't be me. There's actually a dark story behind it, if you want to hear it. What do you mean there's a dark story behind it? Yeah, no joke, there is. What's the dark story? So, I was um, three years old, and I was playing with my pencil, and uh, I, uh, I didn't know how to use a pencil at the time. So I just, you know, messed around with it instead of actually draw. Uh -huh. Right? I... Okay, um, I was, I was getting... Um, I know! I'm not sure what this is the to say, but let, let, let's say there was some domestic violence involved. Oh, man. And I, uh... Did you just, like, John... Pen... Did you John Wick somebody? I wouldn't say that. But I used the pencil, and the cops came, and I was, uh, jumping How straight to How can you use a pencil? How can you use a pencil? What? Yes, you don't have to believe me if you don't believe me. I, I'm just trying to say, like, how could you have not John Wicked somebody if the the whole point of me saying that is how he once, like, killed a, in, like, a room of five men with a pencil? 
Uh, there was domestic violence involved, so technically, yeah, you're right. Oh, have you not seen John Wick? I have. I'm not a big oh. fan of the movies, though. I'm not an action. St I'm not an action person. You don't like the John Wick movies, ah? I, I, I don't even know. I like John Wick. I like the movies. They're really good. I saw the fourth one too, and that was very sad. I can't believe he, you know what happened at the end. I'm not going to mm -hmm. say what happened to those who haven't seen it yet. But no you, spoilers. No John Wick spoilers. Have you seen the the fourth one? I have seen the fourth one. Oh, so good. Yes. Anyways. Um, My favorite I... band did the end credit song. I was really flabbergasted to hear them in theaters. I was like, what? I can't believe the ending. No joke. Mm -hmm. Anyways. So what happened? The cops came, right? Uh huh. And my mom told me to pretend I was drawing. And what I did, I just grabbed a piece of paper and drew like a random dragon. I was only three years old at the time, so I had no clue what was going on. Mm hmm. And what happened? I was, I was. My mom like gave me a signal, and she's like, "Draw that." draw that and it was my dog so i was uh -huh. just drawing the line work out of like out of randomness and then and, and then like uh then like two years later when i was in kindergarten uh my teacher noticed that i was drawing a lot uh-huh and like when i was drawing she noticed i didn't do sketches and she thought okay it's probably because he's a kid but you know because of my I don't want to say it out loud, but I kind of have to now. My autism, uh, apparently it's normal for them to, uh, you know, be very creative in their, uh, by nature. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to feel ashamed, David. I'm autistic, too. You are? Yeah. I told you this. I didn't know that. That's pretty yeah. cool. Nah, I don't feel ashamed. I honestly am ashamed. It's, uh, attracted a lot of bad attention growing up. I mean, uh... Give, I given got bullied the, a lot because of it. You, I, I won't say where to to avoid doxing my friends more than I already have, but, like, you, you grew up in the... Not necessarily the same town, but in the same area that, like, we met, right? Uh, I grew up in Hesperia. Okay, well, and... you doxed yourself, and that's your fault. But, yeah. So, like, uh, man, like, the, the high desert is rough. You know? I, like... it, what was worse was that my bullies, uh, they were literally my neighbors. Yeah, no, I, the, the worst bullying I ever, like, encountered as a kid was, like, whenever I was up in the high desert. Like, I don't know what's oh. up with the kids up there, but they're the worst. Oh, wow. Well, that's what I'm saying is like that's the, I, I I relate like the the kids in, up in the high desert there like the ones that you dealt with and the ones that I dealt with are just the worst for some reason I don't know why they're little demons up there but they are I hated going outside growing up mm -hmm. like what well, okay I'll I'll tell you something like a sad story well it's not sad it's more like a, a very inconvenience. So well, I, I don't want day, him to. I don't want him to specify where he's from because, like, he's basically oh, doxing himself. So that's why I'm. That's why I'm saying the high desert. Like, that's like a okay, more of a general area. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, kids up I'll there eat. <laughs> the kids up there eat sand for fun. You know, there's something wrong with them. Like, okay, so um. What happened, every time I would go outside to play, the bullies would come out and pick on me and like, you know, beat me up. And yes, I got beat up a lot. Oh my god. Uh, it got to the point where my grandpa had to be involved. And, uh, and okay, so believe it or not, what happened, um, my, the, the bully's mom, uh, like, I, I, I probably should have told you this, uh, the bull my bullies were racist. Oh god, this story keeps getting worse as you go on. I had a shitty time growing up, okay? Oh, yeah. Anyways, um... Uh... The bully's mom was racist as well. Same with the bullies themselves. 
And um, mm -hmm. one day, when I tattled her over, about or, there, I know like, it's like, whatever. Yeah, right, man. Like, like the kids up in the desert are fucking nasty. Okay, anyway, continue. Tattletale. I I snitched on them one day so I could you know have some time alone at school. The mom got mad because her kid got in trouble, and uh, she blamed me for the 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 bullies for um uh for picking on me, saying mm -hmm. I was the one doing the bullying. And oh then she God. threatened. It gets worse. It gets worse. No joke. She threatened to shoot all of us darn wetbacks with a shotgun. I'm and, guessing uh, she, she didn't that, succeed. She said that to my face as I got off the bus, and I got scared and cried. I oh was seven God. years old when this happened. I was seven years old when this happened. Who dares? Oh, hi, Sophie. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey, Sophie. Hiya. But yeah, growing up sucked. I always got bullied, no matter where I went. Uh, I'm sorry. And don't be. I mean, I'm growing up now and no one's being a dick. Mm-hmm. It sucks that you had to go through that, though. What ended up happening? Like, obviously she didn't shoot you guys, like... Well, what happened, um, my grandparents uh, heard about this and went to the house. Uh, like I said, I wasn't involved, so... The only thing I know is that, let's just say there was some vigilante justice. Oh, no. There's the PNG goblin. There's What's Crimson the PNG goblin? Sophie. I'm assuming he's talking about you. Oh, is that me? I'm the PNG goblin? <laughs> I'm assuming... Hey, All right, my mouth is full because I'm having a uh, a Jimmy Jonathan sandwich. Oh. Y'all sending cupcakes oh, in general Antoine? chat? Oh, yeah. yeah. If Antoine said it, then yeah, it de he's definitely referring to me. <laughs> I was like, who's, I know who Crimson Ant is, and I was like, Ant. Antoine. <laughs> Antoine. If I don't acknowledge the P meme, it doesn't exist. If I don't acknowledge it, it doesn't exist. Y'all need a different meme. Like, Sophie, we need to give them a meme or else they're just going to keep going with the P meme forever. Wait a minute, can I just... Are you playing music on your stream, uh, Pinky? I'm playing Minecraft music, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to use your music as uh, a background. Uh, if you play my music, you're also gonna get my audio. I'll just send you the Minecraft playlist I'm listening to. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'll just use my music then. <laughs> I did yeah. a name change so my government name wasn't out and about. I know, when I government named you instead of dead naming you, I government <laughs> named you. <laughs> government named you. Government name. I hate my government name. That's even worse, Truzer. You're banned. You're banned from saying that word ever again. No. Me? What did I say? No, I said Truzer. No. Oh. That specific combination of words. I hate my government name. David is so common, no joke. David is kind of common, it's it's true. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, I already accepted my, my fate. Forever, David. Rip in peace. What would your name be if you could choose? Believe it or not, my original name was going to be Robert Ray Lopez. Whoa. No, not Robert Ray Lopez. Robert Ray Dayhoff. Oh. My dad is a Dayhoff, but uh, I was named after my grandpa. Oh. This chat is just obsessed with toilet functions, right? Today's crispy soda is brought to you by Jimmy Jonathan. <laughs> Ooh, is it sparkly? Sophie, Sophie, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's up, David? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks. I'm enjoying my sandwich. A sandwich? Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm not good at talking, so I'm papa. doing my best to be charismatic. No, there you go. <laughs> you got it. You got it, David. Uh, you may have seen this from the stream, Sophie, but uh, I'm autistic. 
Me too, bro. We're all autistic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're the cool kids. <laughs> we're the Tism triplets? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. we were just we were just discussing my uh, dark past. Your autism not experiencing autism <laughs> stream. No. <laughs> Stream got kind of spicy too. I had to mute it for a bit. Well, what up, nerds? Yeah, I'm sorry, Noel. Sorry, my bad. Keep, yeah, keep things as PG-13 as you can, David. I, I'd appreciate it. I'm not good at this. It's okay. You'll learn. It's all right. Dang, this Jimmy Jonathan sandwich is really good. It was way too expensive, and so I'll probably never do it again. Oh. But... <laughs> It's delicious. I like Jersey Mike's. I, I like also like Jersey Mike's. Mike's. This, is my, this is my first time having Jimmy Jonathan. I never had Jimmy Jonathan's. What is it? It's actually Jimmy John's, but I just say Jimmy Jonathan because I think it's funny. <laughs> but um, you're right. It is funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I call it I call it Jimmy Jonathan. But it, like, it's just a sandwich shop. Like that's all it is. Like I'm sure it's exactly the same as the Jersey Mike's, but. I, I just randomly, like, saw a guy walk in with his Jimmy Jonathan sandwich, and I was like, wow, that looks kind of fire. <laughs> like Jimmy Jonathan the third. So I went in there, and I got a sandwich, a bag of chips, and a soda. Dude, it cost me $18. It was way too expensive for a freaking sandwich. But was like, it worth it? I mean, it's delicious, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think it was worth it. Like, I think I'd rather go to Subway, you know? Yeah, Jersey Mike's is the same way of, like, it cost way too much for literally being a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Remember Quiznos? No, I've never is had Qu Quiznos. No, I, I know, Quiznos but, like, once. I, 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 you remember Quiznos. Do, oh, do I remember Quiznos? Quiznos? Yeah, I know I remember Quiznos. They have is died. It, is... uh, I wonder what's going on with them. Oh, is Quiznos not a thing anymore? I'm not I, sure. I've never seen the Quiznos. See ever, you, like, like, For years, no joke. I've not seen the Quiznos for years. I remember them being a really good competitor against Subway. What the fuck do you mean a burger that costs a hundred dollars? How much That's is Canadian? Outrageous. Like, what's wait, what's what's the difference between Canadian money? Because I don't think it's that big a difference between U.S. money and Canadian money. No, it's not. It's like it's like like a couple of cents, <laughs> right? Like like I I thought it was like maybe like ten dollars or something off. Like 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 really really close. A hundred dollars. All right, see, see you in a minute, Truser. It's you're fine. I think there's st there's still a Quiznos by your house. I mean, you could also still have like a Blockbuster near your house. That doesn't mean that they're still a thing. I have never seen a Blockbuster in ages. I remember growing up with you know one in my neighborhood. Remember when Game Crazy was Does anybody remember Game Crazy? No. No. Game Crazy was the main game shop I would always go to growing up because, like I said, their games were crazy, crazy. Was cheap. it like a like a local place or was it like a chain? Uh, do you, I'm not sure if you know of the, know of this store, but you know Hollywood Video. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hollywood Video had a Game Crazy in that same building. Oh, it was probably like a yeah, like a. Like a section inside of the store. Yeah, mm. exactly. It's a blockbuster near my house, but they changed it to a judo studio. <laughs> Bad. Hey, Sophie. Rest in peace, block. Oh my gosh. Rest in peace, blockbuster. Yeah, what's up, David? Did you know I draw without sketching? I do. He's a psycho. I I know, I remember seeing a speed paint, a couple of your speed paints, and I was just like, bro, what am I looking at? <laughs> You're looking at trash. You're not trash. No self-deprecation in chat. Not allowed. I'll kill you. I'll kill your family. Okay. Please don't kill my family. <laughs> Talk positively I don't, I don't, about I don't, yourself. I, only, I, only... <laughs> I was trying to think of a joke, but I couldn't think of one. Uh, you're fine. My childhood store, Hollywood Video!
And I taste it and it's just a normal burger. Like, why does it cost so much? It better be a good burger. Or at least the beef is high quality. She said I tasted it and it's just a normal burger. Is it true that you can eat gold? Because I remember the a YouTuber, I forgot his name, Mr. Beast or something. He ate gold. Like, no joke, he ate gold. I mean, there's, like, gold you flakies. You probably can. Yeah, you probably can. It's probably not necessarily, like, bad for your digestive system. It's just gonna... It's just gonna come out the same way it went in, you know? Huh. Why would you eat gold? Because he's Mr. Beast and he can do whatever he wants because he's rich. If I were rich, I wouldn't do, like, any spoilers. I would probably just invest in things I'll make me even richer. Spoilers. Spoilers for when I get rich update. <laughs> like, if I got rich, I would just think of things to make me even richer. Like stocks? Like, no, like buy houses and rent them out. Like stonks? <laughs> You'd become a landlord! Lame. Yeah. You know what's embarrassing? Mm. I'm Hispanic and I can't speak Spanish. Neither can I. It's my my grandpa, he speaks Spanish. But he never taught his daughters growing up and like, you know. Ever oh, so since they don't know that. either? Yeah, they don't know either. Oh man. That's <gasps> we got Mr. Beast chocolate, like at the Oh, I did the, too. The store. It it wasn't even that good. <laughs> yeah, I've had it before. It's not, yeah, it's not fantastic. I objectively, I prefer Hershey's. Yes. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was gonna be like bougie chocolate, cause you know it's Mr. Beast. No, yeah. no, I mean it's just like he just saw a market that he could tap into, and so he did it. Because now, like for example, my niece, who's like obsessed with Mr. Beast, she's like seven. And so she's really big into, like, Mr. Beast. Like, the way she freaks out over Mr. Beast's, Beast's chocolate is kind of crazy. Like, it's not annoying, thank God. Like, we've raised her well enough that she's not one of those kids that, like, throws tantrums because she wants the chocolate so bad. But, like, do you get what I mean? Like, she gets really, really excited over it. She's yeah. like, oh my gosh, they have the chocolate bar. Like, can I have one? And it's just kind of like, I can't believe you're this excited over Mr. Beast chocolate. Like, it's just odd. I guess. I, I didn't like Mr. Beast's chocolate. It, it tastes like regular chocolate. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't even like really chocolate to begin with. Like, I don't love it, so... You're not a chocolate Like, chocolate? I can't eat... I, I'm not a sweet food kind of person. I tend oh. to be, like, a sweet drink kind of person. I know, <gasps> blasphemy, considering my brand is, like, cookies and cakes and cupcakes. Now, Sorry, I was about just... to say, like, I am the exact same way, and I feel very validated by you saying the same thing. Like, I will have, like, a sugary smoothie, but if you give me, like, the exact amount of sugar content in a cake, I will not eat it. I can't. Yeah, no, I can't do it. Oh, I don't uh, like it. Pinky. Yes? Can you send me Sophie's, uh, or Sophie, can you send me your, um, little, uh, Discord icon thingy? You have to keep sending it constantly. I'm sorry, Sophie. No, it's okay. I'll go find it. Sorry, I'll send it to you right now, David. I just gotta find it. Please do, so I can include you on my stream. Sure, yeah. It just tasted like normal cheap chocolate. Yeah, no, exactly. That's exactly what it tasted like. Like, like those like off, like 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 those off-brand Halloween, like 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 generic uh, brand chocolate is what Mr. Beast chocolate tastes like. Yeah. Does anybody here like dark chocolate? Oh, not me. Sorry. Uh, I love, I my love brother chocolate. does, but I don't. Really? Yeah, Warren's the only I person I know who likes dark chocolate. Yeah, I would not have expected. I would not have expected. Let me know when you why is, that, why, is that, why is that sound surprising for Warren in particular? I don't know. Warren just doesn't seem like the type that'd be like, mm, yummy, like dark chocolate. <laughs> like I don't know he's just he's just a silly boy he's just a silly little guy 
Like, oh, and I just don't, aso- and I just don't associate s- silly little guys with dark chocolate. Who's Warren? <laughs> Is it like Warren? Uh, Warren, that's my little brother. Oh, Thomas said hi. Okay, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, like I associate dark chocolate with like old ladies and like gym bros that are like. Ugh, the calories in fucking milk chocolate are too high, so I prefer milk. I prefer dark chocolate. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So yeah, I I that's what I associate dark chocolate with. And because Warren is not an old lady nor a gym bro, I was not expecting Warren, silly little <laughs> guy Warren, to be like dark chocolate. I, I know he doesn't particularly prefer it. He's just kind of like, ew, the ch- chocolate I grabbed accidentally ended up being dark chocolate. And Warren's like, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Fair That's enough. kind of the, the dark chocolate scenario. I don't mind dark chocolate, but it's not my favorite. I have a massive sweet tooth. Dark chocolate is so scrumptious, though. It's creamy. It is creamy. I'll give it that. But I think most chocolate is. I was about to say, I think a lot. I think. <laughs> I think I that's would argue that milk chocolate, quality of would, chocolate. I would just, I would just assume that you know the milk chocolate, the one that has milk in it, would probably be more creamy than dark chocolate. I'm so, I'm still so pissed about the results of like the chocolate splat fest. Like, why did white chocolate win the objectively chocolate- worst option? No, objectively, white chocolate is the worst chocolate option. I do not like white like, chocolate. I am so sorry. It's just as objective as Shadow being the hottest red <laughs> It all comes full circle. I can feel and... you like Brit. I can feel it coming. <laughs> you can taste I... it in the air. I, I, I like Shadow. Like oh no, it's actually. Shadow the Hedgehog. I love Shadow the Hedgehog every day and my affection for Shadow the Hedgehog grows. I think it's just what gets me about Shadow, what I like about him, is that he's such like a fucking deviant art OC that it's glorious that he's an official licensed Sonic character that we take seriously. He's an Edward. He's He's beautiful. He's like a depressed goth freaking edgelord with a motorcycle and a gun. Like, who thought- I played thought... his game and I loved it. I'm so sorry. Who thought that this was a good idea? <laughs> first time I saw Shadow the Hedgehog, I got so inspired. I created one of my very first OCs ever. First oh, that, that Shadow, one? I got a lady boner. Yeah, I'll, put the OC. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll put it in, um... I I'll also felt in, that one coming uh, for some uh, reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put in art, art apple pie. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, let me find it. If you're, um, if you're sharing uh, art, please, uh, like while we're on stream, please put it in the pink, the party palace, so that people in chat can oh. see what you're talking about. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. My bad. Just if, if, uh, when it's during stream, so people can see what you're talking about. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. My bad. I'm still new to this. Yeah, 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 and I, I have these weird little arbitrary rules for things, so it's kind of annoying. Here, I just posted them. My very first ever OC, so there are, there's three of them. Oh yeah, those characters. I didn't have internet back then, so I wasn't able to watch any good anime. So I was stuck with Naruto and Dragon Ball and One Piece on Toonami. Uh huh. I mean, those, no, no, I'm not, those, I'm not those anime bad. are good. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad. I like them. I enjoyed them growing uh-huh. up, and I look forward to watching them every day. Uh, except for my dad, who didn't want me to watch them. Ah. I was his firstborn son and the firstborn ever, so like he had expectations from me. Expectations to not watch TV? No, he wanted me to be like the jock or something, you know? Well, unfortunately, oh. when you have children, oh, uh, you can't just yeah. expect them to have certain personalities. Sorry about that, my grandpa came to my room. Which oh. sucks, because if I could come up with a personality for my children... My children wouldn't be little shits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you couldn't raise them a certain way. Like it, you can. In, he could have introduced you to sports, but and like sign you up for soccer and stuff, or like baseball or football. 
but I it, tried it, basketball on my own free will, but I didn't like it. Well, that's what I'm saying is like, did your dad like sign you up for sports as a kid? Because if he wanted a jock, that's how he gets it. He doesn't just expect you to magically be interested in sports. Well, he tried to get me to watch football with him back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like it. I would rather watch cartoons. Yeah. My brother, that's... on the other hand, my little brother, Brian, um, he was into sports. He was everything. And, you know, it, I don't want to say the word favorite, but my dad, like, really liked spending time with him more than me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be. I'm over it. He's made, he's already, he's already, um, made up for it in the past. Okay. You know, Lafay, her music is really good. I think I do. <sighs> what's, what's that one one song? It's been trending yeah. on TikTok of like, don't you notice how? Da, 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 like that one? I don't remember the words. But yes, I do know that person. Oh, wait, I know this person. My friend referred to her as his favorite white girl. <laughs> <laughs> What? Um, because he was joking with me. Because, uh, you know, we always make jokes about white people. No offense, any white people. But as non white people, we have the habit of making fun of white people. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so. He I'm was only half about... offended. No, just kidding. Do you get it? Um, do you get it? So he was... <laughs> uh, oh, I do. I do get it. <laughs> um, and so he, we were talking about music, and he was like, Do you listen to, to Laufey? I don't remember how you pronounce her name. But, Lofi. Like, lo-fi luffy light whatever her name is um and i was like no and he's okay, like thank you mars and he was basically like she's one of them white women and i was like one of them white women i was like one of them well i was like the only white woman i listen to is taylor swift and miley cyrus and he was like oh no 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 trust me she's one of these good white women like you oh, should what? Oh, what? <laughs> And so we were just like going back and forth about like her being white and he was like you should listen to her she's one of them go good white women oh my god that was funny gas, gas in me straight <laughs> sorry i apologize to the white half of your mixed race antoine and jesse respectively <laughs> i'm half white too so I'm, it's all good oh you are and I, David. Know that. I apologize to your white side <laughs> but only slightly because white people are colonizers yeah true not valid <laughs> I apologize to you personally and not your race <laughs> exactly exactly that is the best way to put it <laughs> I said I apologize to you because you are my friend not because you're white. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, have a good day. <laughs> Understandable, have a good I adore looking at these overcomplicated emo characters. I'm like, yes, do it. Add more superfluous details. Live your truth. And, <laughs> and then I and then I, here I am trying to draw them, and I'm like, oh god, why does she have two raccoon tails? Why does she have like two ends to her hat? Where does the shirt end and the bracelets begin? Wait, that's a she. This character here. Oh wait, duh, I see it now. Sorry, the stream was behind. Yeah. No, I finished no, okay, that character yeah, from I before. I see it. I envy your uh your sketch work. I, I sketch occasionally for certain commissions and projects. But you know, when there's sketches, you know, it's really hard to like them. At least in my my way. Uh I mean how do I describe this? Sketching is something I should have been doing from the beginning, from when it all started. You gotta be enjoying the process, especially because, like, um, your, your rough work has the opportunity to be 
uh more lively than your cleaned up work because you like once you once you start focusing on like specific like details and like having everything right then it's like stifling you know and it defeats the point of like the rough sketch the yeah, rough sketch is just that. supposed to be about like the movement you know like that's that's the priority how i see it is uh sketches are like um like a general layout yeah i wouldn't disagree with that that, that's just my opinion. I'm, I'm no expert. I, I don't even sketch all, most of the time. <laughs> um, I, I do sketch on illustrations, though, for the Webtoon series. This you know, I'm, I'm, I'll open up... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go on. No, no, no. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show a, a sketch right now on my uh, stream or Discord stream, whatever. I don't know. Uh, this one is a work in progress, uh, but it's missing one character, and... and and it's it's gonna you know look it's on my stream can you see it? Yes. I personally like it and I can't wait to start working on it. Once I finish it, I plan on printing it out and making it a poster in my room. Nice. I've already made a poster of uh, the Kingdom Hearts one too. Yeah, do you remember the Kingdom Hearts one, guys? Uh, I mean, gals. <laughs> I appreciate the the correction. Uh, I don't remember the Kingdom Hearts one. Yeah, I'll upload it in uh, Art Shuffle. I've never had like someone say like guys, gals before. <laughs> like we're the Sorry. guys. It's okay. No, I, I loved it. I prefer. I I am a gal. You're correct. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I self-identify as a gal. <laughs> Here, it's an art shuffle. I'm I'm posting it right now. It's the file is huge, and it was big enough for me to make a poster in my room, which is hanging on oh, my wall above that's my so bed. Cool. I experimented with shading styles for this one. Oh, I Although to be that honest, one. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not proud of it. But why huh? not? It's awesome. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I said, why? Why are you not proud of it? It's awesome. Cause, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me exploring that new style of shading. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could have done better. It, it's rough when you're just getting used to like a new style. I understand. But yeah, I want to try getting better at digital shading in the future. Mm -hmm. Cause I only do cell shading as a, as most of the time. You're like yeah, a. So you're like a, a traditional artist too. Like you're really good at like color pencils and stuff. I am. I'm proud of my my uh, traditional work, but I haven't done that in ages. I kind of mm -hmm. miss it. I gotta get I mean, back I into do, it. I do sketches here and there when I go out and about to places. Mhm. Mm but like, you know, I mean, they're just sketches. I, I have a sketchbook, like literally right by my uh by my by my dresser and it's full of sketches um i would like to point out that uh my singing monsters is free on steam so uh i'm gonna be downloading that right now <laughs> what's that it's just like this like gotcha game sort of thing um, oh. and the only reason why I bring it up is because earlier we were talking about, like, the My Singing Monsters, like, songs, because they're each island that you visit has, like, a specific song, and then I sent in this specific song that I really, really liked, and I was like, guys, please, please, it's a really good song, I know it comes from, like, this stupid gotcha game, but please, just listen to it. Mm-hmm. I like fire. the my, my singing monster songs. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Kind of fire. They're good. They're good. You know what yeah, game like I found on Steam that I really want to get just for the hell of it? Mm. Trump saves the presidency. Oh God. I'm serious. That is a game. Traditional art art diff. Huh. Traditional art hits different. Yeah. Strong agree. A friend of mine commissioned me for uh, some paintings, which I am working on, uh, uh, you know, when I get free time. 
your work chipping away at that that web comic. Huh? Because you're chipping away at that web comic. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting this as a priority is because this one has a deadline. The deadline mm -hmm. is every Sunday. Oh yikes! Yeah, it's it's, it's stressful. I won't lie, but you know, I mean, it it, it keeps me sane. Ironically. Uh huh. I say well, ironically because it, you know, it's kind of nice to have something to work on, you know. Yeah, and I honestly, I'm, it's gotten to the point where I rather draw than play video games. Mhm. Mm I think that's a good thing, but I'm not sure. I, I, it's more productive, I guess. Pinky. Yes. If it weren't for you telling me about the stabilization tool, my art probably would have been a whole lot different. Oh, really? Spreading yeah, the good word of the stabilizer. <laughs> it, it, it made a huge difference in my line work. Yeah, because it allows you to, like, slow down and not, like, struggle with it so much. Uh, I learned about the stabilizer. I actually didn't know about it for the longest time. Until my friend told me that she uses it because she has really shaky hands, and that's why oh. she can't do traditional art. Ah. She's doomed to forever exclusively be a digital artist. You know what's weird? Mm. I have shaky hands, but my sisters notice that when I draw, my hands are like all steady and calm. Like that scene in Blazing Saddles. Never seen that. What is it? Uh... What's his name? Like an old Mel, Mel Gibson movie? Or like ah. they're, they're the cowboys. But specifically the scene I'm talking about is he like holds up his hand and it's like... It, 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 he's like, uh, you know, my hands shake too much to shoot. And he was like, look at this. And he holds up his hand and he was like, as steady as a rock. And he's like, yeah, but I shoot with this hand and it's like shaking wildly. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. My grandpa wants me to get a sandwich. Why is it sandwich day today? Beats me. All right, BRB. Okay, okay. Yeah. Jimmy Jonathan. How are you today, Sophie? Do you do you have work coming up? Do have you come back from work already? I don't know your I schedule. Have... No, I have come back from work. Ah, uh, yes. I got a Jimmy Jonathan on the way home. Oh, uh, I understand. And it wasn't worth it. That it wasn't worth it. Again, it was delicious. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I will never spend eighteen dollars on it again. What is a, a good cost for a Sammy Mitch? Sammy Witch. At most, twelve bucks. Mm hmm. Because if you think of a Sammy Mitch basically like a cold hamburger yeah like twelve dollars is the highest it should ever be going yeah five dollar foot long good point I, I see your point Five dollar footlongs aren't even five dollars anymore. They're like five ninety nine, and that's like that's not five dollars. <laughs> six. I mean, Mitch. Hey, you heard what I said. I saw this post on TikTok, and I refuse to believe that it's real. I think they're lying. I told my mom, and she was like, "They're lying. Th 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 they're wrong." But apparently, like, the, the word both, right? Uh, like, all might, I am here. Uh, hello, David. Um, I'm back with sandwiches. Wonderful. So the, the word both, right? Apparently, uh, Californians pronounce it like B-O-L-T-H. And apparently it's supposed yeah. to be pronounced B-O-W-T-H. Both. But we say both. Yeah, okay. I hear it. Yeah. And my mom What's was like, on? that's the that's the correct way to pronounce it. What are you talking about? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Um as someone who 
I studied linguistics in Chalk College. Most, most of what most people say are wrong. Like, oh. everyone is wrong, because everybody has an accent. And so because oh. everyone has an accent, technically everyone is wrong. Oh. Because everyone is saying it in their specific accent. Like, do you get what I mean? Yeah. It's the same way that we say, like, Sacramento instead of Sacramento. Oh. Uh -huh. like we, we, we drop the T all the time. We go Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Or, like, with Wisconsin, how people with a Wisconsin accent say Wisconsin. Yeah. Say Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So, I'm just Hanson. Are you gonna are you gonna tell the people that live in Wisconsin that they're saying Wisconsin wrong? Like just because they have a Wisconsin accent? I did I hear once that only people on the East Coast call Nevada Nevada. Nevada. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have only been to Nevada a couple of times in my entire life, and it's only because I'm going to Vegas. What? I'm, Vegas. I'm a I'm a sore loser when it comes to gambling. I'm sorry. I don't gamble. I I'm too. I have too much of an addictive personality that like I can't be trusted to gamble. So I just choose not to. You know. I yeah, already get. I, so, I really. I already have such bad luck with like gotcha games. Like exactly. I wouldn't even bother. I was like, it's I like. Uh... It's not even worth it. If I do, like, crack and, like, spend the $10, I'm gonna get an equally bad roll on, like, a, and, like, again, speaking of a gacha game, I can't imagine how much fucking money I'd lose, like, if I were to start gambling. It would exclusively be draining my bank account. No, not exactly. even fun. It's not even giving me little PNGs to enjoy. No, exactly. Exactly. Oh my god, they have a goth kit for for the Sims. I want it. I want it so bad. The Sims? Do, you mean the game? The Sims, yes. Why don't you they just a... get into installing custom content? Oh, goth is like okay. one of the main type of custom content that I find. You're right, but this one's also $5 and I could just have $5. Why would you pay five dollars when you could get so much more for zero dollars? <laughs> for zero dollars. Because then I have to figure out how to do things. You download it, no and then you drag the file that you downloaded into the downloads folder. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. Oh, really? About. The Sims- Yeah, no, oh, modding The Sims is super easy. Oh. I've only ever modded Stardew Valley. It's literally yeah, the same amount. So <laughs> no, 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 no. Modding The Sims is the exact same amount of complexity as Stardew Valley. Oh, nice. Like, just just Google it, and they'll give you like five steps max. The only games I ever modded was Skyrim and Fallout Four. I Come have great in. shame in that, and I'm sorry. Why would you have shame in that? Because it's what everybody mods nowadays. It's gotten to the point to where I got like very unhealthy playtime on Fallout 4. Uh, no joke. You can go ahead and laugh, but uh, I played over a thousand hours on Fallout mod modded Fallout 4. David, I will not laugh at you for being a gamer. No, I'll say that some of the mods. <laughs> I download weird mods like uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage, uh, um, Deathclaw, oh, man. Macho Man, Randy Savage, Dragon, and Skyrim. Macho Man, Randy Savage shouts. Yes, I'm a fan of Macho Man, Randy Savage. By the way, I don't even know what that is. He's yeah, a wrestler. wrestler. He's all like, "Ooh, yeah, brother." Well, I, that was, <laughs> I, I have I no was, bug uh, mod on Skyrim. <laughs> He is, is funny. I, I I love him. Huh? Isn't that Hulk Hogan? Yeah, I agree. No, that's a uh, that's Macho Man Randy Savage. He's the one that goes like, "Oh yeah, brother." Oh, I could have sworn that was Hulk Hogan. I think they wrestled each other actually, but I could be wrong. I, I'm not a I'm not a wrestling fan. I just like the guy. He's funny. Where's Draven when you need him? Draven. Draven. 
Oh, Raven, where are you? I summon thee. Hold on. I'm gonna You're just summoning materia. I'm gonna try to summon him. We'll see if it works. Use the summoning uh, circle that I sent you a while ago. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All my female friends in high school, they made jokes about me being like, um, being like, a, like, um, cause, cause, you know, at the time I worked out a whole lot to the point where I was ripped. I wasn't buff or anything, but like I was fit. Uh, -huh. uh, they made jokes about me being like a model or something. And I said, okay, now you're just exaggerating. I'm not that good looking. Uh -huh. Well, that was sweet of them at least. I mean, I'll take it as a compliment, but still, I mean, that's kind of weird. We're just friends. Mm hmm. No, Pokemon, I need that for every game. What games do you mod, guys, besides Sims? I, 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 yeah, Sims and Stardew Valley, that's all. Oh. I never play Stardew Valley. What is it? Oh, it's a little farming simulator. sim. It's nice and cozy, nice and fun. Unless you play You'd like me, I take Stardew Valley very seriously. <laughs> you oh. would like Stardew Valley, David, because I know you play a lot of Animal Crossing. Oh, I won't like Stardew Valley. I said oh. you would if you you like Animal Crossing, so you would probably like Stardew Valley. Oh, I love Animal Crossing. It's very therapeutic. Yeah, then you then you would be into uh, Stardew Valley. S similar vibe, you know, you get to talk to your neighbors as you do your chores. Ah. Postal 4, no regrets. Are you always talking about Postal, Postal Dude? Because he's Postal Dude. He's the dude from Postal. My big sister takes Stardew Valley very seriously, like Sophie. I do. I take Stardew Valley very seriously. Like, I'm the type of person that, like, <laughs> my goal every single time I play is to complete the community center in one year. Like, I always restart on Animal Crossing when it, when, you know, every so often. I can't. I'm too, I'm too, like, attached to all my stuff. I don't want to get rid of it all. Just to start over and have to collect it all again? I could never... It's very therapeutic for me, because I have, like, a lot of stress. Oh, well, that makes sense. At the time, when I was having a, a bad, like, in the dark ages, my therapist uh, highly recommended the game to me. It's interesting that they would recommend you a video game, but I, I not that I disagree with well, them. I mean, well, I mean, if it was already a gamer, you know? It's very uh, yeah. weird that a therapist would recommend a game to you. I will say that. I'm, I'm not saying it's it's weird. I, I more of think that like I don't think like therapists are the type of people that know video games exist. You know what I mean? You know what's funny? He's actually seventy. Even more so then, because I'm like, oh, they're probably like a young person, you know. Ah, uh, you know what I bought recently that I really love watching. Uh the original King Kong. The, like the like the black and white one? Yep, the black and white one. I am a huge geek for the old stuff. Uh huh. Okay, I was right. The wrestler who's always like, oh brother, is Hulk Hogan, and he's apparently a notorious racist. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Macho Man Savage that does the- oh yeah. The brother- no, the brother is Hulk Hogan. Oh, so who does the oh yeah? Oh yeah? Like, oh yeah? It's the, oh yeah is probably Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, and then oh. he answers- yes, that Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan have, have wrestled each other multiple times. Ah, Not okay, surprising. Speaking of people you didn't know were bad people, like- uh, I okay. So, like, literally working on stuff from the emo account today, 
uh, I have like a giant queue of like over a thousand posts of like, you know, just various like emo or like uh, mid 2000s things. And one of them is Sophie, do you remember the grab my meme on DeviantArt where a character would be like, grab my oh, sandwich, yeah, grab and then they would like fly away? Huh. I've yeah, never seen that meme. You never seen that? It's an old one, but like you remember that one, right, Sophie? I do remember that one. Yeah. Uh, well, there was. I found one on DeviantArt. I mean, on DeviantArt on on Tumblr, and it was Skrillex and Dead Mouse. And so I re re uh, I reblogged that one, and it finally appeared today on the queue. And uh, for some reason, I was like, wait a minute, Dead Mouse. I think I I think he like popped up in my feed or something earlier. Because I have I have like the Shinigami eyes like Chrome extension on. Do you, do you have that, Sophie? Do you know what that is? Uh, I know what Shinigami eyes are, but I don't know what the extension is. Like so, the extension highlights transphobes in red. Oh. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I remember like. Every time I see someone in red, like particularly on YouTube, it always like stands out to me. Like like Ms. Zizi is in red for some reason and I still don't know why. Like I asked on Twitter like why she was but anyway, for some reason I guess I ran across Dead Mouse once and I think his name appeared in red, so I like I double checked and yeah, he's in red. I don't know why Dead Mouse is a transphobe, but apparently he is according to the Shinigami eyes. Oh god. And it's not like anyone can just like flag someone like like it has to be like you have to have like multiple like flags like to uh, to finally appear in red you know what I mean? Interesting. How odd, and kind of concerning. Yeah, I wish there was a way for it to tell me why. Like, please, I would like to know what he said. No, I'm curious. Right? Should. I guess I'll just have to Google dead mouse transphobe and see what pops up. <laughs> Is it dead mouse or dead mal? Dead mal? Or am I getting confused here again? To say the guy with the big Mickey Mouse head. Yeah. Is it dead mouse or dead mal? It's dead I was... mouse, but the S is a five. So it's like, oh. yeah, like at the very end, it's like M-A-U and then the, the number five. Minecraft OST. Lower the volume. Okay. I can hear things again. Let me insert this text and I'm going to look at your stream real quick. Mm hmm. I haven't seen what you're drawing yet and I, I'm very curious. I mean, I've already gone to like a third drawing. Like, I keep changing subjects because I keep finishing them. Oh, well. I mean, I just started the next page, so we're all good. I think I drew you, Postal Dude. Like, wait, if you're still here. Eh? Huh? Me or Sophie? No, Postal Dude. Guy in my comment section. Yeah, oh. is this you? Are you this guy? Hi, Postal Dude. I see you. Do you regret nothing? <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. I regret nothing. <laughs> I like Postal Dude. He's funny. <laughs> Like, the actual poster, dude, not the guy in the comments, but I suppose. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm talking thing. about. It's like, I don't, I've never heard of those games before. I don't know what they're talking about. They're, like, highly, highly offensive, but they're really funny. Mm-hmm. In one of them, you get, you're, you're the gimp. Bring out the gimp. And it's you. You're the gimp. What? I don't know, it's one of the missions in the game, where you get kidnapped and they put you in a gimp suit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Oh, the, the one that you already did? That picture's really teeny tiny, maybe you should add her legs? No, I know. I'll make her hands like, like, yeah. It's me, Mars. I want to see that drawing. Where is it at? In, mm. uh, the artist shuffle. I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty good. Very adorable. I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of Persona 5. 
mixed in red. With, uh, no, the the red, black, and white combination. I don't know why, but like that combination just reminds me of you know Persona Five. I mean, that's that's the whole branding of <laughs> Persona Five. Ugh, why is this update taking so long? I just want to play The Sims, bro. Playing 4? Yeah, I'm trying, but I haven't opened it in, like, months, so it's, like, this giant update, and I'm like, please, please! Free me from update hell. Let me pay play game. Oh, please, let me play game. That was me every single time the boys were like, hop on Cold War. And I was like, dude, it's going to take like 7 million years to download my shaders. Like, please, please, let's play something else. What's Cold War? I never played that game. Call of Duty, Cold War. Oh. My brother was a huge fan of Call of Duty back then. I generally like Call of Duty. I just... I, I only like the zombies. I'm sorry. That's true. I guess I also only really like zombies. But I get too stressed out when I play online multiplayer. It is really stressful, especially because Call of Duty lobbies are, like, notorious for being incredibly toxic. I was literally about to say that word, toxic. You just read my mind. Are you a psychic? Maybe. <gasps> <laughs> Quickly, tell me. I, I, I can't think of anything. Never mind. I, I did that. I made you forget, because I'm a psychic. <laughs> Speaking of zombies, I gotta go again to the shuffle. Was that the shuffle? Like the zombie, sh like like the zombie shuffle, like oh oh to Shaolin Shuffle. He's playing Shaolin Shuffle, the map on the Call of Duty Zombies. Yes, okay, oh. yes. I don't know the maps by heart, but my favorite one has to be one of the earlier ones. I really like Black Ops. I think Black Ops Zombies has like. Black Ops was my first Call of Duty game. It was also mine. I think Black Ops 2 was my first Call of Duty game, actually. Warren made me play um, the, the single-player campaign for Black Ops 1 the other day. It was fun. Yeah, I think Not the, the other Black day, Ops it was a while games, ago. <laughs> yeah, I think the Black Ops games are probably the... Like, I mean, again, I haven't played enough uh, Call of Duty games to be able to speak to truthfully but i feel like from what i've seen the black op games are the best ones closely followed by modern warfare mm -hmm. um that was the other one that he made me play he was like you're gonna play modern warfare now <laughs> now that you've finished black ops I was yeah. like black ops seems my actually got... interesting oh, no you're good david uh, sorry go on no that's it that's just Oh my god, my friend said that this character looks like Colleen Ballinger. No. Oh no. Who's Colleen she, Ballinger? She's the Miranda Sings girl. Oh. Yeah, Black Ops does seem like it's the best. Like, especially in terms of zombies. Like, once... Dude, whatever it's... I think it's Black Ops 3 or 4. The one that has, like, the dragon map with the with the bows and arrows. Dude, that zombie goes so hard. Like, that zombie's mode goes crazy. It's wasn't so there, good. Wasn't there a zombie map based around uh, actors and a director? That's um Infinite Warfare, I think. And that's the one that me and Antoine play really often. I like that one. That one was fun. Yeah, no, that one that one is super fun. Me and me and Antoine play that one pretty often. I gotta tell you a story about the time when I played Black Ops uh, Zombies. You know that one map where you play as the presidents and El Fidel Castro? Hmm? Do you know what I'm talking about? The one where you play as the presidents and Fidel Castro? Yeah, that's I... that's Black Ops one. That's Black Ops one. Oh, uh, oh, oh. One day I brought my Xbox to my grandma's house, you know, here where I live now. I was playing that map, specific map, and my mom, my grandma was like, why the fuck are you playing as presidents? This is offensive. Offensive? Apparently, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Did you no, know, I heard that Fidel Castro was super mad about Call of Duty Black Ops. I bet he was. I thought he was dead. Uh, I don't know if, it, well, he was alive when now. Black Ops 1 came out. I played that game. I still have a PS3. Yes. 
I do too. I do have my PS3, yeah. I don't is have it any collecting more dust? Consoles. It is collecting dust. So I did some research. Apparently, you can play uh, the Kingdom Hearts one to um, three on uh, on the PS5. I I told you, you didn't believe me. No, no, you said it was on only on PS4, and I was like, oh man, I don't have a PS4. I, you can play PS4 games on the PS5. I said that. You did? Yes. Oh, I truther. I am a big idiot. I thought you said a bigot for a moment. I was like, what? No. <laughs> What's a bigot? A, a bigot is... Uh, Sophie, Sophie, help. Sophie, help. Sorry, what? What? How would you define the word bigot? Uh, a bigot is someone who's very intolerant of other people's like ideas and beliefs. Oh. But it's specifically something like incredibly negative, and it's usually used to describe people who are conservative, like people who hate gay people. You would normally just call them a bigot, like. Oh. Oh. But you would never call, like, but like conservative people probably wouldn't call liberal people bigots. It's usually liberal people call conservative people bigots. Oh, I just want to play the fucking Sims. How much, How much longer is this going to take? <laughs> How long is it gonna take, baby? I'm that was my best. That, that was my best. Uh, that was my best Austin Powers impression. I'm sorry. Good job. I'm um, yeah. At least you tried. Does anyone like Austin Powers? Is that the I name of the movie? Austin, Austin Powers. Powers? Yeah, that movie's I great. I was watching those movies way, way too young. Oh Same. no! I, st I every time I think about the the hallway scene, I laugh. <laughs> I like this. I like the scene where they're like, "Look, it looks like a giant pair of melons. Get your melons here." Oh yeah. No. Look at how big those bazongas. That's bazongas, dude. Bean cat. I really should start buying uh that that movie series. I miss watching Austin Powers. Excuse me. <laughs> Dobon Honkeros. Hi Lapis, have you oh. said anything today? <laughs> I don't think I know. Yeah, Lapis you. was saying yeah, no, Lapis was saying stuff earlier. Okay. I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. It's also hard because I feel like everyone like, I think YouTube doesn't have the best, uh, like, it's very difficult to recognize who's talking. I like it a little bit better on Twitch where everyone can be a different color. Uh, and I understand yeah. that on YouTube there's, there's, uh, You see their icons, pictures. but it's not very helpful, especially if they're, like, similar colors. Yeah, and I was about to say that, like, I feel like a lot of the, a lot of the icons are similar colors. Mm-hmm. Okay, ladies, uh, or gals, <laughs> about or when Castro died. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you guys with a question. You guys ready? Oh, yes. Uh huh. What was one game you know that was bad and everybody hated, but you ended up enjoying anyways? Ooh. Uh, what was it? What was it? What's it called? Uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC. That game is so broken and so fun to play. Um, this might be, like, a, a hot cheap, take. Like, I don't know about a hot take. Like, this might be, like, a cop-out kind of answer. But I really like the very first Dragon Age game, even though it's, like, incredibly clunky and incredibly difficult to play. Like, almost everyone I've met that I've tried to get into the game can't play it because it's mm. too hard. Because, again, it's, like, clunky and it's difficult and you have to, like, you have to Wait, what, save what was your game? What was your game? I didn't hear you. Is Dragon Age the very first one? Dragon Age oh, Origins. Dragon Age? Oh. Dragon Age Origins, like the first one. For me, that game would have to be Shadow of the Hedgehog. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. 
Did you know that Razer sells thumb glove things for mobile gamers? Oh my god. Excuse me, babe. Gotta put on the the thumb gloves to play some Mario Sunshine. Really? They have those? Clown to clown communication. Oh. I'm just calling it here with Emily the Strange. She's fine. No, you don't know. No, I take it back. Not, not, not Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes. Hero. I thought Sonic Heroes was a good game, whereas yeah, like Shadow really the Hedgehog good. was actually a bad game. Eh, it wasn't a bad game, but it was like, well, no, yeah, Shadow of the Hedgehog was a bad game. <laughs> I think it was a trying to defend it. I think it was the reason why it was bad was because it was like a pain in the ass to get all the endings. And you it can't was just like look at it. Like it was broken. It was also weirdly out of character. Like, why was Shadow Ground being like, where's this damn chaos? Like, uh, bro, and relax. Second, and second, why would he use a motorcycle when he's already faster than a motorcycle? Exactly. He literally he's literally just as fast as Sonic. If not faster. Cause you gotta remember, he uses rock he uses uh you know jet jet shoes. Sophie Trezor asks, did y'all thought... come up with a new joke for us? Um, wait, sorry, hold on. I thought the, I thought he needed the rocket shoes to be as fast as Sonic. Like, the... I thought he wasn't naturally faster than Sonic, or as fast as Sonic. He, like, specifically needs No, yeah, needs the Matt shoes. told me that, too, that he is naturally the same speed as Sonic and that the air shoes are just huh? too cool. Yeah, I also disagree with that lore. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it makes more sense that the shoes are what brings him up to Sonic speed. Speaking of Shadow, have you heard about Shadow Generations coming soon? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to get it. I love the first Sonic Generations on the original 360. I don't think it was on 360. It was. Sonic Generations. Oh no, Xbox, 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 never mind. For Man, some reason, I, I thought you were talking- My brain was like, GameCube. <laughs> I was like, what? No, the fuck it wasn't. I grew up with Song of the Hedgehog. He's my favorite game character of all time. Mm -hmm. I support him. And in my opinion, he's better than Mario. But if you like Mario more than Sonic, I'm not going to judge. We all have our preferences. We all have our preferences. <laughs> okay. I'm going to shoot you girls with another question. You ready? Mm. Yes. Oh. Mario movie or Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie? I haven't seen it, uh, the Sonic movie, so I have to choose the Mario movie. Ah. You never seen the Sonic movies? I've not. I've seen the first Sonic movie, but I still haven't seen the Mario movie. So I'm in the opposite boat. They're both you good. have to no, say I Sonic. <laughs> yeah. They're both great. I, I love them both. All right, chat. The opinion like on the Mario versus Sonic movie. If you if you get cheeky with me and say the Detective Pikachu movie, you're banned. Uh, I did not like the Detective Pikachu movie. I'm sorry. I did not see the Detective Pikachu movie. I, I, I thought it was very predictable. I thought it was very predictable. I knew what was going to happen from the very beginning. Sonic is better. Are we a Sonic household? It's starting to feel like we're a Sonic household. Sonic is better. I have seen Detective Pikachu, so I guess I have to see Detective Pikachu and get there. <laughs> the Mario movie sucked! It was, like, a mile a minute. It it felt like they had two seconds to make a movie, and they were like, ah, quick! The Mario movie was good, but I felt like I was trying too hard to be close to the games. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. It felt like Illumination desperately trying not to disappoint uh, Daddy Nintendo. You know what I mean? That you know, that's how I saw it. I never. I'm sorry. I did not like the Mario movie. The Mario movie was good. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I, I prefer the Sonic movies. Although I have no. I have no right to say the Sonic movies are better because I'm biased. Because you know, I, I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. So I have no right. So if if anyone's offended, I, I'm I'm sorry. You're you're fine. 
If I had to rate the Mario movie, I would honestly give it an 8 out of 10. That's how good it is. You mean the Sonic movie? No, the Mario movie. The Sonic movie is a perfect 10 for me. Oh. I'm, I'm just giving, like, a reasonable, honest, like, opinion of how I saw the Mario movie. I watched both of them, and uh, Sonic Movie 2 is better than the Mario movie. Not that the Mario I movie is bad. I love number two. Hey, speaking of Sonic, did you know they're making a Knuckles series on Paramount? Like, oh, a, like a like show? Yeah, yeah, a show. Like a, I think it was, like, what, six episodes long? I can't wait. I'm going to watch it. I'm getting Paramount Plus just for that. God, this, there's so many streaming services. I know, it's it's incredibly difficult to... Keep up? Yeah. Bye, Mars. Thanks for hanging out. Wait, who left? Mars. Oh, dang. I didn't get to say goodbye. You fool. You darn fool. Foolish fool. You foolishly fool fool who fools on these foolish fools. I bet no one knows where I got that from. Where'd you get it from? Ace Attorney. Ah. Someone says that in Ace Attorney? Uh, Franziska Von Karma, the main antagonist in the second game, Justice for All. Wow, you even have the, the specific- have all I've the seen, war, I've, yeah. I've seen her before, I know what she looks like. And I know she has a whip. <laughs> She's just bringing the whip into the courtroom. My you know, family calls me weird in. for- My family calls me weird for liking a game like Ace Attorney. What's weird about liking Ace Attorney? I guess they expect me to like games like, you know, games that have action, you know, why, why would any, like, they were thinking, why would anyone want to play a game he plays a lawyer and get a non-guilty verdict? And I tried to explain to them, you know, that, that, like, it tests your wits and your, your, your confidence and your client's, like, innocence, whatever. I feel like your family's super judgmental and they should back up. They are, but I love them. That's good. Got more attached with the Sonic characters and the Mario characters because they took their time to develop the main characters in Sonic Movie 2. Remember, uh, Ugly Sonic? Yes, the t human teeth Sonic. God, Ew. never forget Ugly Sonic. No. Oh, you will not believe this. Uh, I heard they brought back Ugly Sonic in a movie. Like as a meme? No, oh, like as an they, actual they, character, no joke. Yeah, they brought him back as a character, but yes, it was supposed to be a joke. It was in the, it uh, was, was it in called? the Chip and Dale movie. Yeah. The oh, movie. I yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah, now. Yeah, he had like a beer gut and everything. Like, oh, cause he he didn't he lost his job. Yeah, cause he lost his job. And now he's like working as a detective or something. I don't know what he. I, I think he was just like. I don't remember. But was yeah, he just was homeless? Like a, he was, yeah, he was. He was like at a convention or something, trying to like get money or something like that. And he got autographs and like hate from all the people. Yeah, it was. It was funny. I feel you know. Seeing that movie made me feel sad for uh, Ugly Sonic. Not me. Fuck that guy. He was scary. <laughs> you know, deserved. He deserved what he got. I, I'm very glad Sega, like, knew their mistake and decided to fix it. It just shows how much they appreciate the fans' feedback. I like that the internet has the power to bully a corporation into changing something. That's bad. Yeah, I agree. I think that's hilarious. That people hated it so much that they had to change it. That they were literally like, we're not gonna watch this dog shit movie if you don't change. Remember when the dislike bar was a thing? Oh yeah, where you could like see people's, like, you could see the amount of dislikes on like a video. Yeah, mm. didn't uh, the so the original Sonic trailer had like a huge dislike bar? Or or was, or did it even not have a dislike bar at the time? I don't remember if I'm being honest. It probably did, of course, though. So. 
I remember seeing a whole lot of hate in the comments. Yeah, the thing was hideous. It, it was... I'm so glad they hired uh, Tyson Hess to uh, redesign Sonic. Speaking of things with a million dislikes, do you think Justin Bieber's baby deserved to be like the all-time most disliked thing on YouTube for like a million years? Okay, I'm so sorry, but I actually like that song. But that's just... why I'm asking. I don't know, dude. It, it was. It was. I think. Quite, I think like, it was hated because you know people were like, "Oh, he's gay." Even though, like, it's not gay, it's just, you know, generally cringy. Even though I hope that's not why. It, because, I don't know, I mean, like, you know, me growing up, everybody thought Michael Jackson was gay, and I never understood that. I heard that Prince, this is kind of odd, but I heard that Prince isn't gay, and this whole time, I thought Prince was gay. And Prince was gay? He's not. I, no, apparently he <laughs> isn't. <laughs> Wicked. Oh yeah, I heard that too. Um, Lapis's fellas, is it gay to like women? True. That's baby by it? Justin Bieber is about women. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. I love that, fellas. Is it gay to like women? According to the internet, yes. I love the the meme of like, uh. I, sh I I can't like think of one, but like when they describe something mundane and make it gay. Yeah, where they're like, fellas, is it gay to go grocery shopping on a Wednesday? Like you're going shopping with a man. That man is you. <laughs> that man is you. No, yeah, exactly. If you like women, you're gay. Fellas. Fellas, no, be honest now. <laughs> Is it gay? That's it. Just, is it gay? Y'all seen people's 23 plus one's first birthday? Apparently 24 is a gay number in some countries. Is it? So you're, so you're 23 plus one, you can't be 24? Dang, that's crazy. That's sad. I am currently 24. Hey, you guys know that movie Coco? Oh, I love yeah. Coco. So did you know it got, like, awarded, like, best motion picture? Oh, well deserved. But, you know, there was competition in that, uh, for that title. Want to know what that other competition was? Hmm. It's called The Breadwinner. Oh. Never heard of it. It's about a woman who gets her dad, like, uh abducted from you know teaching women how to learn because they lived in they live i don't know what country it is to be honest but it was a country where women aren't allowed to leave the house without a man present oh okay. there's a number of countries like that i i wish i knew the country but um basically the whole movie is about her trying to like you know change the way how how society sees women I've seen clips of it on YouTube, and I've been super interested in watching it, and I want to see it so bad. If you kiss a woman, you're having an indirect kiss with every man she's kissed. She's ever kissed. I love that one, too. That's a good one. That is, uh, that is scarily accurate. That's a, that's a funny meme. I like that meme. <laughs> funny May May. Yeah, like, I just appreciate the... Uh, The fellas, is it is it gay? Be honest. To kiss women? The fellas, is it gay to kiss women? Women, women can't can... be gay. They can only be lesbians. I mean, gay and lesbian are also quite interchangeable. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry if I offend anybody out there. Now I realize what I just said. <laughs> You're fine, David. I appreciate that you apologize, though. I have a habit of saying things that I probably shouldn't. Ignorance is a different crime than, like, actively choosing to be harmful. So, you know what I don't understand? Huh. 
Like, I honestly didn't realize oh. you didn't mean it as a joke. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, says Lapis. Like, um, uh, I, I, I posted my artwork on Facebook asking if my style is more like anime or cartoonish. And yeah. people, compar people compared me to, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Your art style is kind of Scott Pilgrim. Oh, okay. I see it. Thing is, I don't understand. Does my style really look like Scott Pilgrim? Yeah. I don't think it looks exactly like Scott Pilgrim, but I mean, I think it's in the same sort of vein. Oh. Category. Interesting. Now I know. I told my other friends about this. They didn't really uh, believe me. Yeah, I see. It might be the square glasses. The squarey glasses? Yeah, your 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 art right there. Oh. Is my music too loud? You're fine. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little personal here. You guys ready? You're but also getting worry. personal with chat. Keep that in mind. I know. Uh, you don't know. Maybe I shouldn't ask this one. I was gonna ask how you guys met. Oh, that's not super personal. We met in middle school in seventh grade. Oh, you've been friends ever since. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I didn't grow up making a lot of friends, you know, during during those years. I met like, I met two people, but that was just about it. Mhm. Mm we had lots of the friends in high school. It seemed like though. Uh, in high school, that was a different story. Yeah. I hated my high school years. So that's when you were finally making friends and stuff. Yeah, it is true. But at the same time, it was when I was making a lot of enemies. Oh, no. And I'm early. Be there soon. See you in a while. Oh, bye, Noe. Yeah, he's coming soon. He'll probably hop into chat later. Oh, I misread his, his post. Never mind. He's coming soon. I always feel uh, left out, so always uh, feels good to hop in stream during the last hour. Yeah, uh, I wish I streamed at a at a better like time for you, but at least you can join at the end. Hey, Sophie. Yeah. I'm curious. What do you feel about Skullgirls? Skullgirls. Ever heard of that game? I've heard of it, but I haven't seen too much about it. Um, I will say the only- again, I don't know anything about Skullgirls. The only thing that I do think is odd about it is that it seems to be- I feel like all the women are incredibly sexualized in it. They oh, are. yes. But they are, that's definitely. my only complaint, I guess, is that, like, I wish there was better representation of the women. But it seems to have, like, cool, cool characters, cool combat elements. Like, I've heard the music is good. It's a it's a I, fighting game, so like that's all there is to it, like like a Street Fighter kind of thing. Like there's no like story or anything. They just punch each other. But yeah. I love that game to death, but recently they they um they released a patch where they removed a lot of content, not sexual content, just a lot of content in general. Like uh, 
the art gallery, uh, uh, character backstories. Oh, that's odd. No, like, I it's understand we're gonna be stuck. I... I, I know why that happened, Sophie. It was a big retcon. They were trying to fix some things that were like like guest art from certain artists, like certain yeah. problematic artists. They had like this no. uh like Russian voice that they was like offensive. They removed all the Nazi imagery. There's one character who's like a like a sixteen year old girl and they show yeah, flash her like panties, panties a lot. Yeah. And so they, they changed the black they call yeah, it, they like, they changed the color white to black. Yeah, they made it black so that it's less... Like, obviously, it's too late to change all the animation because it's all hand-drawn, but they changed the color of it so it's, like, less obvious. It looks more like a leotard, no, that, that's, like, that's, like, part of her that's skirt. Understandable. That's understandable. She's only 16 years old. Well, that's what I'm saying is that, like, and I agree with the Nazi imagery and the problematic art. It's like, no, I think it was a necessary change. I feel like the only one I kind of don't understand is, like, the, the Russian announcer voice. I guess, like, communism jokes. I don't know. What I didn't like, what I didn't like was, okay, so there's a character called Big Ben. He's a black guy, like a, like a giant robot black guy. And there's a scene in his story mode where uh, he gets beat up by, by gangsters. No, it was the police. He got betrayed by oh, the yeah, other yeah, 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 policemen. Yeah, yeah. Big Band is a black yeah, man, yeah, yeah, Sophie, yeah. and so he was experiencing pro police brutality by yeah, the hands so, of the yeah. other policemen. And so obviously that scene was controversial. And so they they didn't remove that from happening, but they changed the pictures that popped up. Yeah, like it, that's it what I'm still saying. My bad. it still happened, but they didn't show it happening anymore. And I think that one was like the most like controversial change. It seems like a positive one, though. Like in my opinion, like it's kind of like I don't know. That's that's a whole thing that we could go into again. I don't fully. I don't know, what? I don't really know enough about the topic to truly explain it, but I did study it in college, like, I took a class on this sort of subject when it came to, like, people of color being portrayed in media, and, like, one of the ways that, like, people, like, especially people of color, specifically, like, African American people, like, black people are portrayed in media is through, like, these weird, I think they called it, like, perversions of, like, a, a, of of black trauma like mm -hmm. yeah police brutality is real and it does very often happen to black people but why is it always on screen like oh, why why is it always gory why is it always visceral like why do you need to show it on screen for oh, it to be it? for oh, it to be like oh my god like he got beat up by the police like yeah of course he did but like why are you why are you turning it into torture porn like it, it that's not what this is like it's a truly awful thing that happens to real people um so i i understand why they would like change the scenery of it because it's like you don't need to exploit black trauma in your media like truly and honestly you don't need to do that yeah how i see it them assuming it's racist is racist i disagree with that in general um again i don't know enough about this specific controversy to be able to speak on that specific statement about this specific situation but in general i disagree i think things can be racist whether or not you think they are or aren't ah i see and again the scene that happened is that he's a police officer who gets betrayed by his fellow police officer they, like they leave him beaten and like big band's whole thing is that he is like Darth Vader, like he has like a Darth Vader like life support system that happens to also be instruments. That is so cool, and I love that guy. That that, that is really cool. <laughs> yeah, and what? so that's how he got like that was by being betrayed by his fellow cops, and then again he's a black man, and so in his like backstory they like show him getting beaten and that's what it was changed is that the story is exactly the same they just don't show him like getting beaten anymore which i, th I feel like that sounds like it it's a positive change like i think that that i feel like that makes sense because yeah. like, again there is no reason to exploit like black trauma for for no reason like just for the sake of oh for the story and it's the same thing we, we talked about like essay with women like i remember we were once talking about i think it was game of thrones where like there was like this specific 
character that was known for like essaying women and they would do it on screen and it would be like incredibly violent and it would be incredibly like visceral and weird and like they would keep it on screen and like it was just kind of one of those things where it's like this is this is like trauma this is traumatic like why are you showing me this and obviously the excuse is oh well like they need to know how bad of a character this is and it's like you don't need to show me the act of sa to prove to me that this character is a bad person like to show that feminine trauma on screen is not entertainment it's exploitation cool. it's dis- yeah it's cruel it's disgusting like it's I'll not, no, it's not oh for the art of my project like no no that's, that's not just, what that, that is. That's fucked up. Exactly. <laughs> like, and that's and that's how I see it. You know what I mean? And I agree with you. Yeah. So I I, I understand. It's it's the same logic that carries over, except instead of like female trauma, it's it's black trauma. Um. So I I understand why they do it. I understand why they changed it. Like it, yeah, it I, makes sense. You know what? I'm I'm gonna confess. I- you know Another thing, talks, too, is that, like, know, similar okay. characters have similar levels of physical trauma. Like, Peacock, for example, is another character that was, like, physically mutilated. You never see her yeah, get physically was, uh, mutilated. She, she was, she's only, like, 13 years old, too, you know? And, like, you know, and the implication that she has been mutilated, uh, you know, it says a lot. Yeah. Mappa says, I, I definitely I, think there's something about, like, people who don't... People all don't always pay attention to what they don't see but there's a way for someone to see the horror without it being exploitative agreed sure i I, think that's the reason why i don't like uh that show called black dynamite ever heard of it i thought black dynamite was like a comedy like i didn't like it you know i i think they're like focusing too much on the stereotypes of white people and black people I think it was the point of Black Dynamite, though. Like, I think the whole... I think it was supposed to be a commentary. I like, think Black Exploitation? Yeah, but Black Exploitation is... is... Black exploitation is an, is an interesting term because black exploitation, as much as it was an exploitation of black stereotypes, it was also a lot of breaking... Like, it broke a lot of... Mm, like barriers that were set up like when black people weren't allowed to star in movies they weren't allowed to be the top billing character like so black exploitation as much as it was negative in the sense of it perpetuated stereotypes it did a lot for black people in media because it was the first time that black people were the stars of their own shows you know black dynamite was a parody of black black exploitation made by black creators says lapith I don't know, says, says fucking, that, the similar icon, says Antoine. Yeah. So I think, I think that was the, that was the point of, of Black Dynamite. We got really deep in this. Mm-hmm. It happens, you brought it up always Skull happens Girls. every time. <laughs> 5 a.m. Sl- slur discourse. But that's all my fault, my bad. No, no, it's not, I don't think it's your fault, I think, I think it was... No, in, I'm, in, I'm the one, I'm the one that brought up Skull Girls. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I mean, I think I think what we have to say is still, like, important, you know what I mean? Like, as much as we aren't, like, experts on the topic, I think it is, ex- like, important things to to speak about, you know? Yeah. But, you know, Speaking despite of... all the controversy, I do think Skull Girls is a fun game. Yeah. I think the, um, the change in, like, m- uh, like, management recently and, like, Skull Girls trying to to expand as like a company is why they like finally made all these changes because it was just like a small project before you know a lot lot of the people who made it stepped down recently i have a confession to make Mm. uh the only reason why i liked skull rose in the first place when i first heard about it was when i found out it was hand drawn oh yeah no that's like it's biggest selling point it's why i like it i feel like it's why a lot of people like it it's just that it's hand drawn you know i mean like that's that's one of cuphead's biggest selling points oh yeah it's a dying art hand drawn animation is a dying art here in america at least that's how i see it i I could be wrong i don't know because the fact that they're willing to make the change in the first place says more than the changes needing to be made it actually suggests the devs are actually listening um, I just, I added in chat earlier that, um, 
there was like allegations of like like workplace uh, abuse allegations again for a different indie studio this time for uh, Glitch Productions. And unlike Spindle Horse, they actually addressed it, and like that's what uh, that's what I think he was the CEO. I think that's what he had to say about it, which I appreciate. Appreciate actually addressing the issue. Listen, please. Like that's so, all we uh, ask. Mm -hmm. What's your guys' thoughts on that new um, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties reboot coming soon? I don't know what that is. It is the worst game of all time. I would rather play Sonic 06 than that game. Not Sonic 06. Oh, okay. I I'm still gonna... need to... I'll, yeah, I'll, I would I'll like to know what's up with Omicat. I I keep asking Frida, like, Frida, you know. Frida, please tell me. And she's like, I I know that there are it's allegations. Like <laughs> So, they're making a remake of the worst game ever, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. And I have no clue why they would do that, but they are. Shits and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the trailer and just post it in, uh, in, 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 in uh, in the Discord. You'll see it. I'll put it in, where do I put it at? Do I put it in Dance Floor? Wait, is Plumbers Don't where ties like that one game where you play as a bunch of half naked women playing James Bond? No. That what what kind of game is that? Alright, I'm gonna post it in dance floor. Can I do that, Pinky? That's the general chat. Oh, uh where did I post it at? Medial Moonwalk? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you, got, you don't have to see it if you don't want to see it, but, you know, it'll be there if you guys want to. Like, one of the devs at Elma Cat claimed to be underpaid. No, wait, I remember. It's the movie game. I think they interviewed the angry video game nerd for this game. Oh god, I I can't believe they're already making that game. Just a reference, the Cat isn't just a person, it's the name of the whole studio. Oh, okay, that's actually interesting, I didn't know that. Oh hey, speaking of games, uh, have you guys heard about uh, Dab Man, the haters dab back? I have never heard of anything you mentioned, David. <laughs> dab <laughs> Man, the I haters dab shit. back. I look up stupid shit, I, I will admit to that. But it's not welcome. my fault. I find. I find. Welcome here, so. back, Mars. Have you heard of Dab Man? The haters dab back. That's honestly a little annoying. Yeah. No, I'm kind of sick and tired. Can we treat our employees correctly? <laughs> no. Never. Never treat anyone <laughs> correctly. We never will. You'll never make us. Oh, what now? Yeah. <laughs> That is such a confusing sentence, Lapis. Of like, like Oma Cat didn't make Omori all by herself. All of Oma Cat did. Uh, make your username and your studio name different, please. Himself? Honestly, I have a hard time finding out Oma Cat's. I. You know, I never Sorry. questioned it. Sophie. Yes. I'm Are you an anime fan? Um, not generally. Not because I have anything against anime. More just I don't happen to watch it very often. Oh. Um, I watch. Sophie some... doesn't have the attention span for anime. I I don't. I. It's okay. I'm not gonna judge. But I it's think not... I think it's fun. I think all the anime that I have watched, like I've I've liked it. I think I think it was entertaining. My dad thought it was, oh my god, no, I'm not even going to bring it up, no. Don't say not safe for work things on I'm my not, I'm stream. Not. I kill I know, you. I know, Please don't kill me, I only have one life. <laughs> I haven't paid the toad for the green mushroom yet. 
Okay, that Sick was for awesome. eight weeks I'm, and I'm, you I'm, still haven't gone to the doctor. You know, I'm honestly surprised they didn't implement the green mushroom in uh, the Mario movie. They didn't use the green mushroom? Yeah, you know, the green mushroom gives you an extra life, right? It's Sally, yeah. Has Sims installed yet, Sophie? Oh yes, I've been playing for a little bit. What kind of Sims do you tend to make? Like, okay, what kind of Sims player are you? Are you like a, I like making everyone, like, max out their skills thing? Do you just like make, like, really long family lines? You just like, um, make one Sim live particularly comfortably? Um... Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas, Mars. In general, I'm the make one sim live incredibly comfortably, like, get her a boyfriend, get them married, move on to the next one. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm also more of a, I'm more of a dress up fan, like, I will spend hours and hours and hours making a sim, and then I'll never play with them. Mm. Or if I do play with them, it's get them a boyfriend, get them married, and then I stop. <laughs> uh. I have a confession to make about uh, about shipping and creating things. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody remember the game Sonic DX Adventure? No. I don't think I remember. It's a really old Sonic game. Um, you get to raise these little uh, blue things called chows. And me and my brother were hooked on that stuff. And, hooked you know, on one raising time, chows? Yeah, it was like a little raising sim. It was like a game within a game. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, uh... Mamek and Dado. Like, anyways, um... The, me and my brother would always, like, create couples. Like, you know, like, uh... Like, oh, this child will be paired up with this child and get married. No. And, you know, it was sweet, wholesome fun. My mom thought it was adorable. She, re she even recorded us uh, getting mad when we found out that one of our childs was being unfaithful. Oh, no! <laughs> And it wasn't, you know, our fault. It was the game's fault because, you know, they are, they're animals. They just mate with whoever they want to mate. Well, not mate. More like, you know, be with. Because they, they, cause in the game, they, they kiss and they hug. I think Noel was messing with that uh, mini game, and we were making the joke of like, you know, the episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob and Patrick raise a clam? Oh, I love that episode. We were making that joke with like of like uh, Sado, Shadow and Sonic, and we were calling them Momic and, and and Dado. I think Noel drew it. Dado, that's funny. <laughs> Actually, recently played Sonic Adventure two, and they had a pair of Chow eggs, uh, sitting in the garden for a while. I can't figure out how to make them hatch. How do you make Chow's hatch? How does one ch hatch a Chow? I can put it on a stream when I, I get just, back, if you want to. I just give it a lot of hugs in, in, to make a chow hatch. Hug the chow. Give them love. P Pinky, Pinky, Sophie, you guys seen what chows look like, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. They're so adorable. Like, the, me, me and my brother would... Uh, I know I keep saying this, but like, we would just be hooked on raising chows. Chow farming. Give them hugs every single time I get the chow key. Oh, I don't know. Clearly, you're a good parent. I'm almost done eating my pastrami sandwich. Yum! I love pastrami. I bought you're it. You're drawing yourself as a chow. I am honestly surprised I never drew chows. I need to do that. I wonder how my commissioner is thinking about my uh, commentary. This is the first time he's heard my voice. Shadow Jr. is still in class till this day. When will he be free of Spanish lessons? Oh no, it was Maraca lessons. Oh, speaking of Spanish, uh, Shadow. Did anybody see that video of Shadow and Latinas? Yes. I, love Latinas. Yes. I love Latinas. Shadow, I why do you want my passport? Because I love Latinas, Sonic. 
Oh my god, if you remember that, that was so funny. Good video? Indeed, indeed a good video. Hang on, BRB. I love Latinas. I got a lot of hate for my taste in woman. That was oh. very random of me to say, no joke. You have a bad taste in women? <laughs> no, people gave me a lot of hate for my taste in women. I, I look for beautiful eyes. Oh, well that's normal. I was about to pass judgment as well. I was like, well... But no, Your taste in women is Elsa at Hooters. Oh, see, uh, that's not valid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna burn hell for that one, aren't I? That one is unvalid. Okay, there's a story of why I want that to be a thing. Yeah, it's because you saw that one piece of art by Gashi Gashi, and you thought you thought the girl looked like Elsa, and you were like, "I'm gonna make this a thing, and it will never be a thing." I'm like fucking Regina George when she was talking about Fetch. <laughs> Stop trying to make Elsa and Hooters a thing; it'll never be a thing. Well, Stop trying to make Fetch happen. I can dream. No, no dreaming. Not even my sleep. No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sad. I <laughs> like that. No. I like to imagine I literally dream it and then you just pop out of my dreams and say, hey, no, no, David. She just comes with like a big like whiteboard eraser. And she... <laughs> no. like, like that one episode of SpongeBob where he goes in people's dreams. Screwed when I finally saw the quote in the movie. Or, or like when when Damien like tries to like hide his face like that gif I use all the time. I miss Gashi Gashi's art. I wonder what I wonder what he's up to. He's on Twitter now. Ah, I haven't seen his artwork. Well, he's on Twitter. Just follow him on Twitter, and he posts like every day. I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Yes, that damn gift. Gasha was a huge inspiration for me growing up. Mm, same. I specifically liked his one comic of uh, Elsa X um, Ice King. Do you know what I'm talking about? Unfortunately, I do. I like that comic, even though the ship is odd. odd. I I made okay. I'm not. I'm gonna confess something. Freedom jump I scare. Fan, I made fan art of. Uh, Are we back with Hooters, of, Elsa? Uh, no, no. I make fan art of um of Elsa X Ice King. Yeah, no joke. I did. David's in your spot, Frida. I hope you don't mind. I'm okay with that. No, I mean oh, Frida. No. I hope you don't mind, Frida. If you if you join chat, I'll have to move him. Yeah, go ahead and move me. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Resurrect Hooters Elsa. It's not a thing. Stop trying to make it a thing. Dreams are dangerous yeah. things. Strange ideas, not of your own, can worm their way into your mind. But if you resist those ideas, sickness will rack your body. Best not to dream at all, like me. So Tay the Mighty. That is. Some I wasn't planning on joining. Word. I'm dead. That's fine. <laughs> If you couldn't uh, tell, I, I, haven't I, 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 I haven't drawn Hooters Elsa in a while. I gotta get back to it. No, you no. shouldn't. No. Bad. Don't touch it. <laughs> Let it die. I, I mean, Frida, like, I was... 
was trying to say that, like, obviously I anticipated you not joining via David being in your seat. <laughs> yes, yes, David, yes, no! Banned! Indeed, banned. Apparently Miss Early Best will be there. At the Aw, damn it. You get off early just to wait in line. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. No, for real. Why do we what do we gotta do this? Let it let it die. Not just the Hooters part, but also the Elsa part. Like, can we leave Elsa in like what year did Frozen come out? Like 2014? No no, but leave her over there. I'm just tired you of You know what? Her. Is Elsa even legal? No! Well, wait, yeah, wait, wait is. what does that question mean? Like, is she a minor? No. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah, no. Minor. I think she's oh, like 24 she's or something, isn't she? Something I thought, like that. I thought, I thought most Disney princesses were in their teens. Well, they uh, were in their teens, he... but Elsa's a queen, like, specifically Elsa. Oh, like, yeah, she's you're right. Queen yeah. Elsa. She's technically yeah. not a princess. Yeah. Which is why Ice King rejected her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you both a weird question. What was your oddest ship ever? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Um. I've already told you mine. Elsa X Ice King. I don't the issue have is one. that I'm not much of a shipper. You're not a shipper? No. You know, actually, I, I do have. Th this is my, like, half ironic, half genuine. Like, I ship Shadow and Sonic. Huh. I'm not going to judge. No, yeah. I'm I am. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, ironically, half ironically. I just think it's funny. Um, I don't know. I definitely have weird ships. I just can't think of any at the moment. But like, there, there's, there has to be one somewhere, you know. Are you like, are uh, you like big into shipping, Sophie? Or are you just like, a, I, I, it's very difficult to make me ship things, honestly. No, I'm definitely a big shipper. I just, I can't think. I just don't very often. I don't. I, I just. I have a moral code when it comes to my ships, so I also don't tend to like ships that are like romance. I agree. Uh, yeah, no, I'll see. No, it gets me. Like, I, I don't tend to be a fan of ships that are like openly strange, like ones with giant age differences or yeah. Um, another thing that people like to ship is people will like to ship different characters from different series, and like I also don't particularly like that because it's like I need the ship to have some sort of legitimacy yeah. for it to be interesting to me. So when uh, you're not like, like a you're not like a crack shipper where it's like these characters have never appeared on screen together and yet people ship them anyway. Like you're not that person. I I yeah, like I don't, the... I don't tend to be that person just in general. Did you watch um, the uh, Did you watch the last Airbender series? Sophie X Crispy Soda. Yes, my favorite ship is me and Crispy Soda. Sophie, Sophie. Oh yes. Have you seen um the Avatar: The Last Airbender with Aang? Nor I have not. Oh okay, never mind. I was gonna ask if you ship those two characters. Yeah, no, I've never seen it. Um. That is very that I... weird, Frida. What the? She sent me a DM of this. That's like asking to be disabled. No. What? What? Huh? What's going on? What happened? She just sent me a weird DM, like that she got. Y'all try like it's. Yo, uh, y'all trying to do a partnership with my music? server and Frida's like nah you're chilling dude I don't do partnerships lol thanks for the offer though and they said why if you don't mind that's like asking to be disabled no like huh? what huh that's odd that's so odd what, what the heck just the DM that Jesse just read out oh hello the tilted pro uh I'm sorry <laughs> How many times do I have to apologize to, to people just joining? I can't say like, oh, hello, welcome, we're talking about something pleasant. No, it's always something weird. Mostly just me. My fault. My bad. <laughs> uh, underscore dog mp4. 
I don't know if we're already done with the we're done with the conversation now. Um, I don't know if we're done with the conversation. Of, the, the shipping conversation. The shipping. No, we can um, continue. I will say I, though, I in my youth I was a big hater of like self shipping, like people that would ship their OCs or people that I w that would ship then, like themselves with. And characters. then you became what you hate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I became the very thing I swore to destroy because there are times <laughs> where like I really like characters and for whatever reason I just would ship that and I, I it's probably because I'm a straight person. Sorry, sorry gay people. I'm sorry that I'm straight. Um I'll work on it. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not <laughs> I, I've done Because you know because you know, Frida would be like, dang, you suck for being straight. Sorry. Shout Default out Frida, settings. Sorry. Boo! Yeah, she's booing me. She's booing me because I'm straight. I'm sorry. Cassie um, X so Kibby! Oh, I shipped Cassie and Kibby. So Absolutely. for example, like, I really like characters like Tomato, Tomato, Tomato. Uh, like Ghost and Koenig, but like I don't ship them in like gay ships. Cause a lot of people will ship like this character Ghost with a follow character um soap and i just don't ship them as a gay cup like i just don't i just don't like yeah that like me, ship me shadow shadow and, and sonic the bromance you like the bromance not even the yeah, yeah like i like I, I guess so right that i like the bromance so like i don't ship them romantically so it makes much more sense for me to consume content like because i still like ghost it just i don't know it makes more sense for me to ship ghost with like a female OC of someone. Do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of stuff like that where it's like I think that's why I'm more open to people like self shipping or like shipping with their own OC is because it's like yes, I also headcanon this character as in a relationship with a woman, but there are mm -hmm. no women to ship the character with. So obviously you have to ship the character with an OC. Frida, can you cut it out, please? What happened? Frida's just spamming, spamming chat and then like okay, someone someone was trying to ask of... Someone was trying to ask me a question, and they got washed away in the sea <laughs> of tomatoes. <laughs> I have a lot of tomatoes. Let's see what the question is, though. I don't see the question. Damn, they still is going? They yeah, they are! Banner. <laughs> Speaking of which, Antoine, I should give you mod power. Yeah, I was about to say, I like how none of those tomatoes were tomatoes. They were all just the word tomato. I like- I, I like tomatoes. Oh I find God. it hard to believe that it's a well. fruit, though. It's a fruit, believe it or not. Okay, uh, Sophie, I want to apologize about something. Oh, oh okay. I guess you could say I kind of do that self-shipping thing. She just said it's well, cool. Cause, yeah, like, like, I think it makes- I, again, I think- I think- Self-shipping is something very specific. Like, do you go know to me and I made I made a care I made an OC based off of me. He's not me, but he's based off of me, right? He looks like you, and his name is David, and I think he's just you. I he, I call him Darling David. He's still you, though. He looks just like you. He does. Yes. He's not as hot. <laughs> okay, you know what? That was really weird. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> that was kind of funny. No, 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 that was, no, that was funny. Kind of funny. Yeah, that was kind of funny. No, Just no, do that, the... that was, that was <laughs> really dumb of me to say. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, hang on. Uh... Lapis said, just do the one slur thing where there's only one character, so you have to ship them with themselves. Anyways, yeah, I call that and character guess... Darling David. He's based off of the me that would have been me if I were myself in high school. Hmm. Cause during high school, me being an autistic little bitch, I uh, I m I made a character. I, I I like acted like someone I wasn't to fit in. You know. Yeah. I see Noel, and his name is Noel, and he looks like Noel, but he's not Noel. <laughs> but he's not Noel. Just oh because he's like I your ideal be. self doesn't mean he's not necessarily you. And by the way, Tilted Pro, no. No. No, no relation to the hash brown motel. 
was the hash brown motel. Um, so yeah, like that's one of those things where it's just kind of like I, I used to be a have like a very big hater of people who would ship with like self inserts. But then I understand that, like, if you specifically headcanon a character in a very specific way, it doesn't make sense for you to ship the character with the characters that are inside of the universe. Like, for example, if you're looking for a quote-unquote, like, straight Hollow or, like, Call of Duty ship, every single character in the Call of Duty game is a male. So, like, you can't ship... A character with a female because there are no females to ship with so i understand why you have to make a self insert and then ship the call of duty character with your self insert because there are no women to ship the character with ah i see what you're going at i think so like i understand why people do that even though like when i was Younger, Can you send I me a link hated... to what you're talking about? Because I've heard of it, but like I don't know if I can even use it on YouTube. If you would be so kind. Uh, Sophie, continue. Technically, there are some women characters in COD, said Antoine. Uh, yes, I, that's true. They do exist, but it's just like, they're not characters that you would necessarily ship other characters with. Like, it doesn't make sense because they don't have interactions, or they don't have chemistry, or they don't have, like, any sort of real interaction, and thus it wouldn't necessarily make sense. Even though you're right, like, yes, you definitely- like, yes, there are women that exist in COD. So that COD also hinges on you with... liking that character as well enough to ship them with a, a character that you also like equally. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's where it gets awkward. I have so many animatics and animations in the works, and I have so little time to even work on them. So, so many things to work on, so little time. I feel you, though. I haven't worked on anything personal in a while. It's been a while since I last drew an Adventure Sisters comic. Aww. I kind of miss it. But at the same time, you... at least I'm too busy with this. What have you been doing aside from commission work? Like, the, how do you spend, like, your day-to-day? Your -day? I just draw all day. I rarely take breaks. He's drawn me a couple times. I don't think he's drawn the current version of my character, though. Oh. No, I was asking if you ever drew me. Me? Yes, he's asking if you have ever drawn me, and yeah, you have a couple times. Yeah, I think so, but I don't I don't remember ever drawing you recently. Yeah, you haven't drawn, like, this version of my character either. Like, I think you tend to draw IRL me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I did draw. I, I, during my years in, uh, in college. Yeah. Definitely in college, because I remember... I, I think her name was Elizabeth. I'm, Remember her? I'm on your yeah. Oh yeah, no. I'm on your channel, like your inner species reviewers, like speed paint like I, I'm in that one. I don't know what inner species reviewers is. I heard that's an no, edgy you show. Wanna, you don't wanna watch it. It is I'm not even gonna deny it. It's 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 mild porn. Yeah, that's mild. it's called etchy. It's called etchy. <laughs> Only there's nudity. Etchy is, is softcore porn, uh, Sophie. Like, I don't know if you've heard that term before, but it means anime term, that's I... hentai, hentai without the penetration, you know? Hey, Noe, Noe, did I ever draw you? I gotta do that. I don't think I've ever drawn Noe. I, I think you have. Did I? I remember one time because I thought the, the little speech bubble you wrote for him sounded like something he would say. Oh, what? I, I, don't, I don't even remember. No, well, you must find it. You did yeah. once. Oh. But yeah, I've heard I've heard of the term before. I don't think I ever bothered enough to like learn what it actually meant. Um, just because I high school I did... DXD, high school of the dead, Rosario Vampire, those were all etchies. I'm not a big fan. Which is of why they oh, were. I, which is why I they were significantly hornier than normal anime. 
Okay, okay, that I, makes sense, I, because I remember High School of the Dead, because I remember that, like, the whole running joke of that one, that we would, like, or the the biggest joke that I've heard in that one is where someone uses, like, a girl's boobs to to balance a, a shotgun or something, or to, like, balance a machine gun. Oh, like, the oh, sniper oh, rifle, yeah. About. Oh, my God. <laughs> It was, okay, it, was a, sorry, but... it was a sniper rifle. Yeah. You, did you see the Matrix titties? Like, she dodged and her boobs that. dodged the bullet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was crazy. I, yes. That, that'd be moving at lightning fast speed. <laughs> yes, I have. I'm not... that. I found the worst etchy anime of all time, and I shamefully shared it to your Discord. Please don't. Well, I mean, if it's I the will, pink I parlor, will not, I will, no, it's I will not, fine. I will not. I will not. I will not. It's... I will not. I promise. Okay, anyway, it's you can share whatever you want to the pink parlor. You can send whatever the fuck, because everyone in the parlor, except for my cousin, is an adult. And, okay. uh, but, uh, PG 13 only for the pink palace or the party palace. The similar I'm names, the similar alliterative names. Uh, Everything starts with P. The PP, the PP gang. The PP. Okay, so has anyone ever been jump scared on YouTube before? Yes. Mm -hmm. I I've only been jump scared once, and it didn't work. You know, oh, yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a jumpy person, so I definitely. Yeah, same. It's very easy to make me jump. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like I'm remember, easy. Sophie. Do you remember in middle school? I don't, I don't know if you remember this as clearly because it was happening to me, but remember every day when I would arrive at school and Abby would jump behind me and go, Hi, Jesse, and I would scream every single time. Yes, I do remember. I, I have not gotten any less jumpy, so I'm the same. Yeah, no, I do remember that. Uh, Hi again, Truzer. It's very difficult to, like, blame kids for being cringy because mm -hmm. they were kids but every once in a while i'll think back on things from like middle school and i'll just be like damn that was really annoying and like i can't <laughs> believe that we never told that person to like stop being annoying but obviously like they were a kid so like how do you tell how do you tell a kid like do you know what i mean but like now that i think about it Abby was a really annoying person. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> Abby was incredibly annoying, and I'm surprised that we put up with it for as long as we did. Cause like, I know I tried to tell Abby to cut it out, and she was just kind of like, "Haha, no." And I was like, "Okay, I guess I'll just deal with this." I used to hide behind doors to scare my friends. I mean, did they think it was funny? I used to uh, wear a um a costume for Halloween when I was 16. And I'll go on my front porch and sit down like I'm a mannequin. And uh, I'll hold like a bucket of candy on my lap. And uh, I'll put a sign that would say, take, please take one. And if the kid takes more than one, I jump out saying, only take one. <laughs> With that specific voice. Uh, believe it or not, I got hit. I was I about to say that actually. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that, and also, I I think, it, it, you're doing that on Halloween, uh, that is your right. That is funny, and you're allowed to do that. I'm gonna burn hell for that. No, it was Halloween! That's the only day in the year where that is okay. Yeah, where that's, that's valid. And it's their fault for taking more than one candy. Yeah, no, they didn't listen to the sign! <laughs> exactly, next time listen to the sign, idiot. But in the end, it was all for good nature, and I gave him more more than one candy. Especially uh, to the very young ones, because I felt guilty. That was my first, like, Halloween memory, is literally exactly that. Someone did exactly that to me when I was, like, five, oh. and they scared the shit out of me. And I still remember it to this day. As he said, never again. I don't have a lot uh -huh. of fears. Oh, and not me. I'm, I'm jumpy. I'm scared of everything. You, Sophie, or Jesse? I didn't. Oh, damn it! I said your name. It, it's it's cool. <laughs> Everyone else says my name too. That's why I was trying to tell you before stream of like it's okay. Like I appreciate that you're trying to say Pinky, but like it it's okay if you slip up. I'm just. I don't want to attract any negative attention to you. 
It's literally fine. Growing up, I always attracted the wrong attention for my friends, especially my female ones. What'd you do? So, um, you don't have to believe me, but I beat up the school bully. Uh, nice. at, you know, out of out of pure rage. Nice. <laughs> and I and I got uh, you know Slay. after that incident after that incident I got Slay. labeled new school bill, bill, bully. So you know, for like three years, people thought I was the school bully, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't care. I'm I'm alone. I'm no one's bothering me. That's good. Then I made friends with a bunch of girls in in senior year, right? And what happened? Uh, I I was furious, but one of my peers or acquaintances referred to them as uh, bitches, and I did not stand for that. I was. Furious. I did not want any of that to my female friends. I I, I really was, said women's rights. Yeah. I, I I don't I don't um I I don't treat women like you know like crap. I I I I, I, I I'm, I'm stuttering a lot. Okay. But yeah, it sucks, and I, I hated it, and I did my best to cover it up and try to, I don't know, make it up to them by not hanging out with them. Um, to be fair, I don't think that really had anything to do with you. And if they were the type of person to make fun of them for who they hang out with, they probably would have get, gotten called that anyway. I just felt guilty because uh, I, I just hope I didn't bring them any negative attention. What I'm trying to say is, like, people who have negative attention to give, uh, will give it to anyone nearby. Oh. Like, it had nothing to do with you or them personally. It was all about that bully. Do you, you know what I'm oh. trying to say? I think so. Does that, does that make sense, Sophie? Am I articulating this? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think you're, you're explaining it well. Because yeah, it's, it, the bullying isn't about you. Like, you didn't do anything. I just, don't want, I just don't want to, like, be friends with someone if if that if it means that that someone's going to get hurt because of me. Does that make any sense? It does, but I think, I think also Jesse has a really good point where I think bullies are going to bully. Like, they just are because they're angry people who want to take out their anger. And that's just the best way that they can... They can you shouldn't stop her. living your life just because someone's a jerk. Oh. Yeah. Because you're not, you're not directly causing them any harm by being their friend. Like, it's, it's literally not your fault that they were bullied. Not your fault even whatsoever. Just like if, if a bully says, like, you're, uh, I'm bullying you because I think you're annoying. No, you're not. That's an opinion of you. Oh, okay. I think that's what you're going at. Yeah, no. It, it whatever they say about you doesn't mean anything. It's their justification for why they think it's okay to treat you like that. Ah. Anyway, hi, Noel. Hey, you can always come in during the worst time. Help hey, me. hey, Noel, what's up? Hey, it's been a million years. Jeez, it's been so long. It's Noel. That's yeah, so. N O E Y. Noel. Okay, I was so scared you were gonna say the L, and I would have gotten so mad, David. Like, <gasps> don't don't say my name. I would have gotten so. Don't mad. say my name. Don't say my name. I don't even know the song. I heard song. enough. Alejandro. I, I I just survived Christmas. Please, David. No. No, how are you, you doing? Oh, uh, Jinx. Uh, I'm doing good. Um. You still sick? Fine. You okay? Uh, nah, I'm doing better. I'm like 95. percent Um, I'm I'm good. Oh. Yeah. I have more soup waiting for me, so I just have an easy dinner. So I just warm up the soup, have soup, and... Uh, You've been yeah. eating soup all week? No. I mean, oh, the yes. feels like I, it's um, been soup week. <laughs> no, it goes, yes. No, yeah, I, I messed up your, your character in my uh, stream. Let me fix that. What do you mean? Oh, I forgot. I got a double stream. Hold up. I gotta, I gotta become... Double stream. Pro, pro, pro streamer. Swallowed a whole bottle of shampoo. I'm not feeling... <laughs> Swallowed shampoo. Probably gonna die. <laughs> smelled like fruit. That was a lie. 
Oh, but seriously, Postal Dude, like, go go throw up right now. Go 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 make yourself throw up. Hi, Cell. Hello. Go stick your finger down your throat. Go go throw up. Like seriously, you're gonna poison yourself. Oh, my chibi's so cute. It's adorbs. Thank you. That was kind of the point. I was like, you know what? I'm done being spooky. Time to be. I ate ten whole bottles. Okay, well now you're just lying to me. I have a chibi version of myself called Devious David. Oh, that's a chibi version of you? I thought it was just like a separate character. He's uh, based off of me in middle school. Uh, Rookie numbers. <laughs> that the new, like, health hazard of of the, the day, drinking shampoo. Oh, God, no. We yeah. Oh, no. We don't encourage the drinking of shampoo. <laughs> Smelled like fruit. That was a lie. <laughs> Solid shampoo. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> uh, how you doing, David? It's been so long. I heard you're you're doing okay, right? I'm doing uh, okay, but a lot of uh, family drama. Uh, per your usual. Not only that, but you know, I've been busy with commissions, and I have been streaming, but I haven't really been um, like talking during these streams. Yeah, it's kind of just like just to just to get used to streaming itself without talking. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I get scared of stream, because, you know, I get anxiety about it. Chooser, do you know what happens if you drink bleach? It literally burns your entire esophagus. If they take you to the hospital, they have to connect the your fucking anus to your throat. Like, you have to you eat pre-digested food for the rest of your fucking life. Don't even joke about that, okay? Yeah, I never looked it up, that's disgusting. <laughs> yes! Did you know looking into the sun gives you superpowers? No, no, please, please no. Don't. Enough. Stop. Enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Enough. Dude, that's already a thing, and now they're gonna keep we've saying. We've already gone. We've already gone through this. I don't. Already, I've already started looking the floor. What else? I am do? so sorry. Dude, we don't. We don't have to do it again, guys. I did know that. <laughs> we just got here. Please, David. I'm sorry. I'm here for a fun time. And a long time. And also a very long time, I want to see all my friends, uh, prosper. Sal, I know you're here. <laughs> Sal, Sal, why does that ring a bell? That's my cousin. Oh. I, oh, I was thinking my Sal, like, I, I was acquaintances with a guy named Sal in high school. Oh. For a second, I thought you two knew each other, I was like, what? Well, yeah, no, I, I draw the line at bleach jokes in particular, like, please don't joke about, like, self-harm or killing yourself or anything like that, please. I will never understand that Tide Pod thing. Like, what is that? <laughs> was that even self-harm or just stupidity? I think yes. that was mainly just kids being dumb, because they were like, haha, you know, it'd be really funny if we drank bleach, like... But Tide Pod? What, what is a Tide Pod, anyways? You never use a it's Tide Pod? Li it's detergent, I... it's chemicals. Like laundry. I, I don't use uh, Tide Pods. I've never even bought them. I don't use them either, but they're detergent. I just use the liquid. The goo. I will never understand that meme where everybody ate Tide Pods. I well, it actually, 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 most of it really was just a meme. Most people actually did not consume any sort of Tide Pod. You have to preface most. It's like, oh, God, Why did they so lock up the Tide Pods Tide. at the grocery store, though? Uh, were because, people stealing because... them for the meme? Yeah, like not only were well detergent. Fun fact: as someone who works in retail, detergent and like toiletries are actually very common. They're one of the highest stolen items, which makes sense because if you are like homeless or you're broke and you need to take a shower or you need to brush your teeth or you need to brush your hair, like you don't necessarily have the money to focus on self hygiene. What you have money for is to eat and drink. So it's actually very common for like those types of products to go missing. So one, people one, they're already a high ticket item, like an item that gets stolen very often, wow. like already just in general. Secondly, um, yes, people, kids probably were stealing them for the meme. And three, um, I'm pretty sure that there was only like less than 50 cases i think it was significantly less than 50 cases of people actually going to the hospital because they consume tide pods like it was incredibly low despite the meme being everywhere 
a, a massive majority of people did not in de- ingest Tide Pods, and they did not go to the hospital for it, and I'm pretty sure nobody even died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because everyone turned it, because the internet is the internet, everybody turned it into this massive meme, this massive thing, and so everyone's like, oh my god, our kids are eating Tide Pods! K- kids were not eating Tide Pods. Like... <laughs> They just, they just weren't. There's no evidence to support that kids were eating Tide Pods. Mm-hmm. So, there you go. There's your fun fact for the day, guys. Woo. Fun fact indeed. F- fun indeed. fact of the day, Brilliant. kids are not stupid enough to eat Tide Pods. Mm. They're stupid enough for a lot of things. As a kid, we all done one stupid thing. Exactly. Like meeting Sophie. Okay, that's weird. What'd you say? Say exactly. Oh, so wait, well. no. Uh, no, I, I did. Say it again, because I didn't hear you the first time. Say it really <laughs> quietly. Um, I said it. You just couldn't. All right, it. that's it. Banned. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned. Get him out of here. You know that one Family Guy clip where Peter's like, "I can say the entire alphabet in like uh, one second and they're like, "Fine, do it." And he goes, "I don't know. I found that funny." <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! You can't make oh. biscuits. You can't make oh, a biscuit. I swear, Seth MacFarlane never runs out of ideas. I think he does. Actually, I disagree with that statement. It's a, uh, I feel like that's why the show has been the same for. Speaking of the guy, didn't he make a TV show of Ted? Yeah. Is it good? I've never seen it. I have to be honest, Tide Pods do look like candy, and that does concern me. I agree. They yeah, do they kind of like do. Yes, correct. But I'm a worrywart, so no, no, you're right. Mm. Yeah. But if anyone was concerned, no worries. Most kids on the planet did not attempt to eat Tide Pods. Nice. <laughs> Good to hear. Why they would is beyond me. Exactly, which is why most of them didn't. <laughs> it's because they're not that stupid. Where did the meme even originate? That's what I want to know. It's probably from the idea that they look like candy, and so somebody was probably like, "Haha." I heard people saying that they look like gushers. Kind of do. I love gushers. The, the forbidden gusher is one that I remember. The forbidden gusher. Actually, a movie. He made like two movies. Well, yeah, no, the there was originally two movies, and then recently it's been ad- ad- adapted into a TV show as well. And I heard it was good. I think it's Can't probably confirm. because Ted is just a much different format, which mm. is kind of refreshing for like Seth MacFarlane's type of humor. For his brand. His brand. It's Hold a brand. On, I gotta throw away some trash. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's probably BRB. Probably why, in general, it's probably more enjoyable. Because it's not like he's not funny. Yeah, it's just like, in my opinion, Family Guy just isn't funny generally. Every once in a while, they'll get, they'll get a good one in, but. I was about to say, Family Guy, like, will throw a hundred jokes at the wall, and like five of them will be funny, and you're like, oh, haha. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Wish I got mm-hmm. more quality and less quantity. Yeah. No. Exactly. Oh dang! I just realized I was looking in David's chat, and like he has Mars on both. Both. The is chat. his Mars fucking around on both chats? Yeah, Mars is just hopping between them. Mars is everywhere. Mars okay. is all-consuming. I mean, Mars is awesome. So let's go. Also, Jesse, what are you going to stream tomorrow? Did you say you are just going to play some Minecraft? It's Minecraft time. Ooh, wow, I love Minceraft. Minceraft. Minicraft. I was going to oh. attempt to build Mumu's treehouse in Minecraft. Oh, oh that's yeah. fun. Huh? I forgot about that. 
talk about that yesterday. Let's go. I yeah, know I'm excited about the idea, so I gotta. I, I have not forgotten. Cool. So you gotta commit. Can't wait to see Mumu's treehouse. Get blown up by like ten papers. No. No. Don't speak it into existence. I already did. He's just a boy. He's just a monkey. He's just a monkey. Okay, I'm back with Pringles. Yum. Hello. Okay, I got, I got a question to ask you all. You ready? Hmm. Oh, no. If you could be friends with any Nintendo character, even the Pokemon, any Pokemon, it's, as long as from Nintendo, who would it be? Can I be friends who or with what Sonic? would it be? Can I be huh? friends with Sonic? Sonic's pretty hey? fun. Sonic is Sega. But he's been in Smash. But now he's but now he's owned by Nintendo, sort he's of. Owned by Nintendo? No, I think he is. I thought he was. I thought that Nintendo like Sega. bought. Right, but didn't Nintendo like buy out Sega? Like Sega isn't its own company anymore. Like it's no, that's the... by... no, that's the other way around. Only um Sega bought Atlas. I'm, 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 so Atlas, I'm... the guy behind the uh, Persona series. I could have sworn that, like, that's why... About the Sonic thing. Huh? I said I was joking about the Sonic thing. I just wanted to see David be like, That's not a Nintendo... That's not a Sega character. That's not a Nintendo character. Um, Sega is still Sega. By themselves. They're doing their own thing. I just remember... They haven't been like... bought out yet. <laughs> no, that's what... No. Thank God. My children. No, 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 no. Like, you're fine. I just wanted to be firm about the bleach thing. Uh, you know, just for the sake of, like, I self-harm jokes, not okay. But it's fine. Like, I'm not mad at you or anything. <laughs> like, you don't need to, you don't need to, I didn't mean to damper your mood. Just, I just wanted to be firm. Choose oh, your grounded. Choose your grounded. I used the mom voice. Choose mm -hmm. your grounded. I think it's a big company, they just don't make their own consoles anymore. Yeah. No. Got it, okay. Yeah. I'm looking lapis with the with the sonic lore, I love this. Yeah. Uh, but I think actually I would I would love to hang out with Shy Guy. He's adorable. He has many different forms. He can be whatever I want. He's my Barbie. So yeah, I'd love to hang out Wait, with Shy Guy. He's my boyfriend. Shy Guy? Yes. Oh, is this a date or just hanging out? I, I, I forgot the question. Hanging out, like a the best date. friend. A date? No. No, well. <laughs> I did, I, maybe I just misinterpreted the question. Okay, but yeah, if it's hanging out, dude, I want to hang out with my boy, Shy Guy. I'll make him socially acceptable guy. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. I would socially choose... Socially acceptable guy. I would choose... Um, Ganondorf. Oh my Chat, God. who who would your Nintendo best friend be? Personally, I'm having a hard time thinking of a Nintendo character I like that much. Kirby. Kirby. I would hang out with Kirby. Oh, Isabel, I don't know. Isabel's pretty cute. Isabel is pretty cute. She is. Goomba. Can you be friends with a Goomba? In a way, not a Goomba. <laughs> I have drawn... Regrettable fan art of Isabel one a time. Goomba? Oh, Excuse I was horrified to say a Goomba. I'm like, dude, it's a Goomba. What are you doing? I'm so scared. Goomba. Like, I drew. Okay, so one time when I used to be a, you know, when I used to uh, do a lot of illustration for Patreon, back when I had like what, like a ten dollar supporter, he requested I draw a a, a pinup of uh, Isabel, but not like mm -hmm. a naughty pinup, not like a naughty pinup, more like a like a. Like, like like a humanized like, version, you know what I mean? Aren't all pinups inherently like? No, no, not like a not like a sexy pinup. More like I uh, think he like, means like like uh like those nineteen like fifties ones where they're all where they're all clothed, but they're just posed sexy. Got it. So, something like that. I, I, could I mean, Bayonetta, obviously, if it's a date, but since I'm not allowed to date, 
Well, okay, actually, there are a lot of other dateable Nintendo characters. Based purely on okay. canon information, I think Luigi. He looks <laughs> fun to play pranks on. Luigi's a G. In my opinion, he's probably stronger than Mario. I love Luigi. If anything, he is Mario, but he can just jump higher. That only makes him stronger. He's slightly stronger. Character. His last name is also Mario. That's, that's a joke that me and my sisters always, always make. That it's canon. like he is Mario. He is canonically Mario. It's just his last name. Mm -hmm. Luigi Mario. Yeah. Oh, you know what's so sad? Mm. Uh, I don't want Charles Martinet is retiring. Oh yeah. And in the movie, the Mario movie, um, he, in the end, he says, "These are my boys," and everybody in the comment section of that video is it's all crying. like, oh. "It's so sad." It's okay. He's, he's yeah, because he, well. yeah, because he he voices their their dad, and he is their dad. Oh, well, I mean, in a way, he's their voice. <laughs> I mean, he's done it for so long; he's practically their dad. Yeah, and he also did like was it Wario and Waluigi too? So like he he he's a versatile man. He played he played like a dragon in Dragon Ball apparently, <laughs> which is funny. That's cool. So like, One oh, virtual so high five to whoever can guess my middle name. Can we have a hint? It could be anyone. Benjamin. Um, Benjamin, that's Bar crazy. Barbara. That would be an absolutely insane. Zarya. You're just throwing shit uh, at the wall, aren't you? Widowmaker. Widowmaker Smith. Uh, um, Zenyatta. Uh, um, uh, uh, Tracer. I'm, I'm just guessing. The, the question wasn't what Overwatch character are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm guessing your little name. You're so funny, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna burn hell. What if you just ascend to heaven? You're good. <laughs> I honestly, when I die, I honestly want to go to hell. You know, because I I feel it'd be warmer and cooler. All right, like people say it's bad, but like let's see how bad it is. Let's see. Well, I have two. One of them is not common, and the other one is common in search of an M. Maurice. Maurice. Michael. Maurice. Maria. <laughs> Michael, not <Michael>. Muhammad. <laughs> no Michael, man. don't leave me in here. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, I might be suffering from art block. No. I Are hate you art, art block. blocking. I don't know. I, I. That's what was clever about you saying Mohammed and Yad is the most common name in the world. <laughs> Our block sucks. I hate it. I'm not gonna force it, but I'm just, maybe I'm just not feeling it today. Oh, no. no. You, you, wanna know, you wanna know what I do when I have our block? You just don't draw. You think about something else, and you just chill out, and you you recharge the batteries until you want to draw again. Wow. Maybe. <laughs> uh, That's what everyone should do. <laughs> I was like, hey, I know the ideal path. I, I'm, I'm not gonna force it. Uh, I just maybe. work on past projects I abandoned. That sounds like, like a good way to get the spark going. <laughs> That's what I do. And I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm so busy with commissions, I have a lot of stuff, like, in my... in my archive that I haven't even began or even, like, finished or anything at all. You know, not that it's a bad thing, because, you know, I'm earning money, but still, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, I do miss drawing, uh... Oh, so wait, you know, Truzer, was it Mohammed? What, what, what? No way. But can you guess my other middle name is the question, <laughs> and then Lapis and Zarya? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. There's a Z in it, though. All right, the, the hint is that there is a Z in it. All right, Xander. Oh, no, it was so, Michael. Was... Never mind. Ibra. Mikhail. Oh no, Michael. It was Michael. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was Muhammad. Michael, don't leave me. It could be, be Michael with a Z. <laughs> Your name is what? Michael Mike Michael. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just I don't know. So they have two middle names. I'm trying to guess the other one. <laughs> what is Zachary? <laughs> They didn't say it started with a, with a Z, they just said it had a Z in it. Mm -hmm. 
can't think of any word that has Z somewhere in it that isn't the beginning. I yes. can't think of anything either. My commissioner says you guys are all cool. But anyway, oh. oh. Tell them you're also commissioner. I guess Sophie what gets the high five because you're the one that was like, Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Don't leave me! The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? What do the numbers mean, Mason? Mason, what do the numbers mean? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna find that video and share it to you guys. I'm gonna find it right now. What? Give me a second. Uh, what letter does it start with? Something <laughs> that I I said that I guess made Warren laugh is like when we were playing, <laughs> we were playing when I was playing through Call of Duty Black Ops, like well, Black Ops One. Um, do, I. And I noticed this with Modern Warfare too. What is with it? Was it? What is it with Call of Duty? It's like allergic to like scene transitions. So like we always move to the location by like you're on like your hands and knees and like the bad guy comes and like punches you in the face and you pass out and you wake somewhere else. Why is that like every scene? No, truly. You know yeah, what I'm like, talking I'm about? Good. Like, do you do you have it like the visual in your head? Yeah, yeah like, we need to go to a new location, and they're like, okay, what should we do? He should get knocked out, and wake <laughs> up at the new location. I, I mean, he could just travel there, like, it wouldn't be a problem. No! Well, that's 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 a lot of man hours, I'm just gonna have Pongus to punch him in the eye, and then boom. Uh, yeah. All right, Choosers, Choosers' other middle name starts with C, and it has a Z in it. That's and my first difficult. thought for some reason was, like, cars from, like, fucking <laughs> JoJo. <laughs> Hazador. <laughs> Hazador. Caesar. <laughs> but with a Z. <gasps> oh! That's a good guess. <laughs> That's uh, not how you spell Caesar. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, I said <laughs> Caesar <laughs> with a Z. Yeah, Zizer. Um, why did you bro. spell it like Weezer? <laughs> you know how much I hate Weezer. What about what about Ch Chaz? It's like Chad, but Chaz. You, I hate that name. I can only think oh, of like God. last names like Cruz or Chavez. Like that was a good guess, but it's not right. Which one was a good guess? I'll talk yeah, about clues. Let's see what happens. How, how close am I? Clues. I give up, Pinky. I'm sorry. It's uh, fine. 20, 20 questions with Truzer. Chester, but with a Z. <laughs> what do you mean, less letters? Less letters than Chaz? It's Camilla. Yeah, with a Z. It's just like CZ. I'm going to be so pissed. What? Huh? Kulu? Cruz? Cruz? Chavez? Oh, like <laughs> I don't know, man. Is it really a middle name, or is it just like you have like two last names? How is it not Cruz or Chavez or or freaking? Why do you keep saying clues? I I, I have two middle names. Okay. I have two middle names. How is it not fact. Cruz? C R U Z Cruz. Like uh. Here, let's see, let's, let's see. Boom, I did it, I solved it. And it's not Chaz, either? Cuz. <laughs> it's cuz. Well, they said four letters. Wait, did you say Chavez? Yeah. I said Chavez okay. at one point, yes. Chavez has four I said Chavez four! four. Oh, it's oh, it's Cruz. Oh, it's Cruz. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was right. So I get the other internet high five. You got, I get all the you high got five. both of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get all the high fives. They're Virtual all mine. high five. Oh my god, it's the Zodiac Killer! <laughs> no. Also, you have nine minutes left. No, oh, okay, good. Nine minutes right, left well, I'm, I'm running out of steam here, so perfect. Until the moon falls and we all got. Nah, until uh, Pinky's done streaming. Oh. That's true for like the stream three too. hours, yeah. So we can go eat and chill. I guess I'll end the stream as well. You know, once, once everybody's done. I mean, you can end your stream whenever you want. Like, this is just when I end mine. Yeah, I know, but I've been... It's like, what? It's about to be 7 o'clock right now. And I really Question for everyone. Is anyone making art for Mario Day? Oh, huh? Uh, no. 
Say it again, Pinky. Question for everyone. Is anyone making art for Mario Day? I <laughs> Mario said, Day? like, Mario Day is a thing. <laughs> I barely have energy to make art right now, so I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sorry. I think you're Mario Day. Sometimes you're not. Yeah. Is Mario Day today? Yeah, it's Martin Day. Is it? No, it's the no, it's 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 fifth. What are you talking about? Um, no, maybe I'll find something. Wait, when's the tenth? When's that happening? Mario tenth. Oh, oh yeah, yeah March like, March tenth. <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, maybe not. Maybe. We'll know. consider it. <laughs> we'll see. We can do a collab Mario Mario Doodle, and that'll be our Mario our Mario uh, drawing for the day. What's Just draw in Mario? red Luigi, <laughs> and there we go, Mario honored. Oh, we can, I, I can I can bring like a flash drive and then <laughs> we, we can draw in Red Luigi. What's your favorite Mario character, guys? I like Mario. He's my favorite character. He's just so relatable. He's just like me. You know, I'm honestly surprised Mario hasn't done any crossovers. Excuse me? I, oh, I they did it with the rabbits. the rabbits. Oh, I am sorry. I do not like rabbits. I mean, me neither, but they're, <laughs> they're there. I, I heard it was a good game. It is? From what I've heard? There are no rabid stands in chat, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not a rabid stand. No, okay, so if Legend of Zelda would have a crossover with any Nintendo brand, what would it be? Can I can I have a crossover with uh... Kirby? Jimmy Kirby? Jonathan! Kirby! Mario doesn't deserve my love. I used to watch the Rabbit show. They had a show? I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. <laughs> oh my god. Rabbit had a show? Yeah, it was like I guess so. Was like I don't know that. Okay. Was it it was good? Yeah, I said it was pretty okay. Usually when shows are made after video games are pretty bad. I mean he yeah, said it was only okay. He didn't say that it was good. No. Oh. Yeah, and Trezor said post that they did see it and they were ashamed of it. Admittedly, oh, po well, Postal Dude also had has seen the Rabbit Show. Guys, tell us what happens in the Rabbit Show. It does exist. What what happens well, in the Rabbit Show? The Rabbit Show. I don't remember. I think that they just do dumb Rabbit stuff. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Noel. I'm talking to Jet. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're fine. She said, "No, well, shut up." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I would actually cry if they if they said that to me in my face. I would like actually No we'll be like eh. No, I'm the type of guy that would get furious if you curse in front of my face. I mean Good for well, you. Like, I, I, I'd, I'd be good. I'd be cursing. I'd be cursing all the time. I'm like, dude, you don't see me though. getting mad at Sophie. I have a short temper. Like a I really bad temper. I really do. It sounds funny. I like describing myself as having a long temper, <laughs> whatever that means. A long temper? That's funny. <laughs> A long temper. That's a good idea for a comic idea. I should write that down. Do oh, Noel, he's gonna you copyright your joke. Uh, I'll credit you. I'll credit you. Can, can I at least be in it? Can you just draw a really long tie dye being like, I have a long temper? He's just like stretched yeah. out. I don't know. You need reference? I'll send him again. Uh oh. Oh, Antoine I'll said the rabbits is it's minions, but more obnoxious. It, oh. it does seem like it is the minions, but more obnoxious. We got like about four minutes left. Four minutes. Good, because like I fucked up her legs. <laughs> I don't know what I need to do, but they look bad. Also, David, I forgot. I've already put a reference. I sent you him before. I'll send him to you. I'll I'll pin it so you can rem remember. Okay, yeah. Show me. There it is. It, I pinned it. So if you check pinned, he will be there. Oh. My silly little sonar. He's blue. Oh, I. He's made wait. of goop. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> I remember you saying he reminds me of Splatoon. <laughs> I said that. Yes, you did. If, if, you, huh. if you go to the pinned and you check the message right under it, you're like, it reminds me of Splatoon. Oh. All right. Before I end the stream, I'm gonna do a little doodle of Noe. Oh. Wow. You don't have to, David. 
I will, because you're oh. awesome. Aww. You know what? You too, David. You too. How kind. Oh, I gotta draw like clowns. So, yeah, that'd be adorable. Oh, Clofy. Mm. I want. I need to draw Clofy. Clofy. And like now that um, did you decide on like a color palette yet, Sophie? Um, I like, think I like the one? original one. Um, not that uh, the other variants that Jesse created were not absolute bangers, but I think just it's I just like the, the original color palette because I think the original color palette gives clown more than any other one. Um, again, like the other the... ones can be like alternate skins. I think I yeah, like the... this like yesterday. Or... Oh yeah, yeah. I think I was mentioning it like in yeah. stream. Um, where yeah, like I think the other ones are really, really cute alternates. But I think, I think objectively, like the the original color palette gives clown. Truth is just like talking about the fan art. He's like, oh, you don't have to make the fan art, David. I will. <laughs> Epic conversation. <laughs> Talking to your artist friends. Oh man. I, I, I feel like that is a standard conversation between artist friends of like, I'm gonna draw your thing. Oh, you don't have to. I, I'm doing it. <laughs> no, it's, it's happening. It's, it's already done. I already signed it. Too late. Oh, Chippy Mars. Wait, Chippy Mars looks so cute. I just saw this right now. What time is it? Oh, Mars is still here. Yo. Well, you're getting IRL uh, reaction, Mars. This, this chibi is so cute. Right now, I'm sketching. What are you gonna do? Stop me? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Sketch? Excuse me, David. What, why are you doing the, the 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 band tactic? Why are you sketching? Don't you just go to line work? I know, but I want to try sketching. I gotta practice that. Okay. No, you're, no, you're right. You are right. The man you're has to practice right. sketching. Such a giga chad. <laughs> no, you're I right. I'm gonna jump straight to the line where, like, how are you gonna do? <laughs> what a giga chad, that was funny. What a, what a chiga gad. Did I tell you the dark story of why I do line work, Noe? Yes, no, I heard it, I heard it. No, 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 I he, heard it. He heard, heard the story, he heard the story. I heard it at work, and I was like, okay, I need to mute for, like, <laughs> for, like, a minute. That's <laughs> a lot, Jesus. Mars is back, and I said, "Yay, no, he's here." <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Your favorite little, little, little water boy is here in Chibi. Water boy. <laughs> water boy. There he is. There's water boy. Water boy. Water boy. I can never drown. I made of one. Do you think one day you'll ev eventually peer pressure me into Roblox, but I won't do it until you succeed. <laughs> water boy. Yeah, that's me. I'm water boy. I'm blue. I'm not sad. I'm actually really happy. <laughs> God damn it, boy. Oh, I don't even fool. I don't even have a car, so I, 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 I can't even happen IRL. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I was like if I was, if, I was enough, if, if I was a popular enough YouTuber, people, my my fans would just buy me the P car <laughs> without my consent. I'd be like, what the? Why is it P? Why is it P colored? It's like the fucking like, RT funny. Daisy thing. They they just want to yeah. see you suffer, and they'll go out of their way to see you suffer. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm really liking this uh, drawing of Noe. Hi. <laughs> I think it was like a Fridaism. Just just name pops up. Hi. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought of that, and I was like, oh god, y'all rubbing off on me. Yeah. <laughs> We're infecting you. <laughs> You, you can stop whenever you want. It's been three hours. Yes. Wait. Seriously? Yeah, it's been three hours. Okay, I'm gonna finish this leg and then I will yeah. run away. Like a Pokemon? Yes. David, what are you drawing? Yo, look at me. I'm so cute. I'm like, hello. All right, she's done. All right. Time to curb stomp you. <laughs> we you done. done. Arton. We done art streaming. We going. Yes, I'm gonna make some probably spaghetti or something. <laughs> spaghetti. Yes. Oh, oh, it's funny. It's funny because my grandma's making spaghetti tomorrow for dinner. Dude, I might make spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Tomorrow, I not today. Spaghetti. I have easy soup today. The white side of me is Italian, so you know it's only natural. <laughs> the white. Don't <laughs> you mean the Italian side of you is Italian? <laughs> no, it's true. I, I'm half Italian. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I guess so. 
<laughs> so when's our breakfast day?